The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. We're here. Six. Yes. Gang, 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 gang. How's everyone, everyone's vacation? Uh, I still smelling like vacay. <laughs> looking just, like vacay. Still like smelling like First Mexico. pod he ever left the Iversons at home. Just threw the Salehis on something uh-huh. light before I light something. I had the Salehis on last You part. smell uh, like Bali. You was out there with somebody? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, short, sense. little short set, two piece, fashion over men. Come on, man. It's him. It's I'm him. glad to be back, man. How y'all yeah, doing? Today. How y'all doing? Everybody good? Uh, yeah. Made him Fantastic. feel that presence over there. Now, we still on you in that vacation. <laughs> made him feel me over there right quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> made him feel the ambiance, the presence. Vacation was great, man. You was wilding out a little bit over there. I seen you. I'm yeah. supposed to. You about no to doubt. You about to get the travel bug soon. Travel bug? Mm. Travel before-ish. No, you ain't. I did. Yeah. You know. All right. I hear you talking. Cool. Where, where were you? Where was that? DR. Nice. Mm. DR. That's what what happened? That's what I thought. Nah, I gotta shout my girl out. Shout your girl out. I, I was um, I was gonna put something together for my birthday, like that little weekend I had, and I couldn't get a. Fl- you know, you said flights was crazy. I could not get. I was gonna go to Aruba. I could not get a flight out for nothing. Damn. So last minute, she was like, "Yo, I got something for you." And surprise. She had the little DR trip book. Don't say little. Put some respect on it. The DR trip. I'm just saying that was no. She said I got a surprise for you. Pack your trunks, honey. <laughs> so You're I got I got I got, I got, fl- got flewed out. Nice. Mm. You look happy. You so bashful. Yeah. Look at him. Look at his face. I got, got flewed out. Oh, look at him smiling and cheese and showing his little happy, teeth. Nigga. Oh, what? Man. That was the shit. Oh man. She got to fly me out more often now. Mm-hmm. You done mm-hmm. fucked up. <laughs> no no no. That was the intro. Now you could repay her. Well, no, we, we, we going to Jamaica in uh, August. Times oh, 10. my God. Talk to Damn. him. Mr. Travel Man. <laughs> That's you. Shabba. Yeah. My yeah. God, flip back, huh? What's up, Shalom? Uh, good to be. <laughs> fuck these niggas talking about, huh? It's so good to be back in the chair. It's good to see you, man. Thank you, thank you. Good, to, you, see, good thank to see you. all of y'all, man. I'm glad to be back, though. We held it down for you, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. while you was gone? Nah, I got beef with y'all. What? Mm-hmm. Why that shit was called the fun cast? You trying to say when niggas wasn't here, y'all had fun or something? No, what the fuck that. was that? Sarca- that. It was sarcasm. Sarca- oh, oh, all right. We all right. don't take sarcasm right. well. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I ain't like that I shit at all, I was watching yo. that shit like this. I found every negative thing about that. <laughs> 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 and I wrote it down in my notes. Good yo, shit. don't watch no pods when you're not here, yo. Nah. nah. Don't watch I, the I pods watch. when you're not here to see what's going on. I don't like that. <laughs> I said, these. The, as soon as I saw the name, the what? The fun cast. Oh, yeah, I got smoke with them. Yeah. Five and click play. If you saw the podcast, then hopefully you understood why it was called the fun cast we man. covered all the serious topics I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick you and flip ass you and yo. I'm gonna fuck y'all up yo I'm gonna fuck y'all up yo oh, man. that two man break of these two <laughs> when Ish or Mel grab the rebound and it's only them on the wing oh, oh my god it's about to go down the game slow down a little oh bit. my god whole shot clock dog <laughs> Whatever the opposite of Dan Tony offense is, <laughs> what's the opposite? Uh, pop. And then one of them is a great rebounder, so they just keep grabbing it and a whole new possession. <laughs> Shot clock go back. <laughs> told you, pop offense. Oh, man. These, I, love, I love it. I love it. I love it. Fun times. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Good times, indeed. All right. Uh, I, I, I smell a few setups with this pod. Yeah. I smell a few already. They're coming. I'm here to have fun. I'm going to avoid the traps. <laughs> you're going to set some traps, I think, is what you're going to do. Well, wait, y'all, no y'all way. talk about me. What y'all did for Father's Day? There's a lot of fathers in here. Well, let's start, and then we'll address Father's Day, because quite a few people you know had bad Product. Father's Days. Man, a few of them. <laughs> and I'm going to talk about I'm going to tell the truth sometimes, a little bit. <laughs> all right. This message is for all the out-of-towners that's visiting New York right now. Welcome to New York. We happy to have you here. If you're coming from the South, we love y'all Southern Hospitality. I know y'all very friendly. Y'all love saying good morning and all that, but warning. 
Do not do that shit here. Do not get on no train or no bus, seven, eight in the morning talking about good morning. And you're gonna get looked at like you're crazy, or you might get told, eat a Frank. If you don't know what eat a Frank mean, that mean eat a dick. It's too early for that shit, miss. You know what I mean? I just had to get my seat to this lady that's pregnant. I got a hangover. This nigga over here selling stale M&Ms. These little niggas got the boombox banging, break dancing, and trying to flip over poles. There's nothing good about this morning. In New York, our friendliness, our politeness, our manners don't kick into like after 2 p.m. Try us then. Or you liable to get told, eat a dick respectfully. Welcome to New York. Microphone check, one, two, what is this? What episode is this? 637. Welcome to episode 637 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. We have the amazing, the beautiful Melissa Ford in the building. Big Flip is back in the building. Ish is here. Ice is here. Fresh from DR. You know the fucking vibes. Uh. Parks is here. Poe is here. Corey is here. Erickson is here. Ian and Keeb are here somewhere. Shout out to the people working remote. How is everybody doing? How is everyone feeling? It's good to see all of you. Y'all are smelling great. Everybody showered today. <laughs> well, 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 their favorite Which cologne. is not unusual, by the way. Go ahead. Go ahead. We all showered at the same time today. <laughs> In the morning, right? Some of y'all yep. freak ass niggas took a shower last night and this morning. Smell mm-hmm. extra good. Wanted to get the bed's dirt off of you. Go ahead. <laughs> How y'all doing, man? What's up? <laughs> Feeling good. good. Feeling good. Feeling Feeling good. Amazing. Well rested. Glad to be yeah. back. I keep saying it and kind of missed y'all a little bit, man. Aww. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit. Don't don't awe it out. Oh, okay. We miss you too. Yeah. I missed you. I missed you guys. Yeah. It does feel good to be back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How was everyone's uh, weekend? Juneteenth, Father's Day combination. That tri- triple play, birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy okay. birthday. Happy birthday. How was Father's Day for everybody? It was pretty good, pretty good. My daughter's birthday was on Father's Day. So oh, wow. That was nice. And Double stuff header. Like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was all right. It was nice. Does that take away from your shine on Father's Day a little I bit? I really celebrate Father's Day, man. Every day is Father's Day for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Aww. But... Oh, you wanted them. Nice. Yeah, I wanted them. <laughs> I'm just trying to get down with the bandwagon. You know what I'm talking about? Stand over there with that. Women say it. You know what I'm saying? But, okay. <laughs> Father's Day to be celebrated. I don't want to hear that shit. Okay, okay. It, it, fathers get a bad rap. So, stand up in that one. Salute, salute. Salute. How was your Father's Day? It was cool. I ain't do much. Okay. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> at all? Did you get any gifts? Um, my girl cooked breakfast um, with my baby. Bought it to me in bed. Oh, and we went out to eat. That was it. I ain't doing oh, nice, nice. Scrambled eggs or fried eggs? <laughs> <laughs> it, says, it says something. If it's scrambled, if it's scrambled, uh, you not might, you might not be in a good good space. <laughs> if it's fried, you good. <laughs> Yeah, you stupid. Because <laughs> they taking the egg out on the pot where they scrambling oh, the egg. Oh, man. Yeah, this guy's a fool. How was your Father's Day, Joe? Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Had a blast. Had a blast. So you picked my baby up. She came out. Sin came out. Oh, happy Father's Day. Tell Daddy happy Father's Day. Little card, little picture in the drawing from my baby that they made in school. Oh, give me a hug. Come on. Come on in. Bring it in. <laughs> So that was real cool. Then I got in the car. I was like, wait, man, she ain't spent no money on girls. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pick you your battles. Like, Yo, you, you forgot something? You got to pick your battles, though. It's cool. You let it's that cool. one go. Go ahead. You ain't got to spend no money. It's cool. So that was cool. Uh, uh, Father's Day took my dad, his kids, my, well, his kids. <laughs> I'm his kid. uh, took my dad, my brothers, my sister, my son out to uh, breakfast. Did a little bit of that. Nice. Girl got me a spa day and a charcuterie board that I love. That was nice. cool. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Yeah, nice. Shipped right over. Nice. And sink call. So like, yeah, if y'all if y'all done, I'm gonna come pick my baby up a little early. So I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Father's Day's over. Then. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, but I had a real good time. Real good time. Shout out to uh, shout out to my kids. Nice. Good. Yeah, it's, it's it's the point now. Like when the. My Especially dad got me a gift. <laughs> oh shit! That's what's up. Yeah, oh, that was different for me. Oh. Like I, I get, I get the little awe moments 
when, like you said, the, the school, your, your kid make you something, little card, they can't write straight, but it's just scribble. Yeah, that I don't type care. Of shit. I'm yeah, hanging shit, it up. Yeah, I'm hanging that up the scribble. My daughter made me a birthday card and a Father's Day card. I picked her up yesterday. She came walking out. Daddy, I got you a surprise. And it was from my baby mom's little bottle of my favorite cologne. So nice, nice. Yeah, very nice. dope. Very nice. dope. Nice. I had a. I could not have asked for a better birthday slash father. I, I didn't celebrate Juneteenth. It's my day. Y'all not gonna take my day. Got mm. it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't sharing that. I don't think. <laughs> I, whatever. I it was my. I don't okay. think our ancestors be too happy with you saying. <laughs> you went Listen, to a, I picked you my went battle. To another that's, area. That's my battle right there. <laughs> that's, that, starts with a C and ends with an N. He went to another area, sir. <laughs> <laughs> two, two vowels in the middle. <laughs> went there fast too. Fresh on vacay. Got right back to Coonan. Right back. Right back to Coonan. You the cool gotta boy. choose your battles, and yeah. I want my day. Start with a C and with it. <laughs> you jump right into it, Freeze. I'm, listen, th that's that's mine. I can't. Y'all just got just. This was new a, ho a new holiday. I'm with you, bro. Yeah, it's true. You with him? No, right. oh. I just don't want. You appreciate song. you appreciate Juneteenth because you know yeah, there was a lot of a lot of videos yeah, of yeah, people yeah. complaining about it being a federal holiday. They didn't like it. Anything like, we get, they're gonna complain about. Okay, so you with us on the yeah, holiday? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that I'm, I'm it, my birthday is still what I'm celebrating that day. That's all. Why you can't celebrate See, this both? This is where I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> and I was confused on Juneteenth, too. I spoke to Ian about it, a couple uh -huh. of other my white friends. Okay. A few white people was like, happy Juneteenth. <laughs> <laughs> to me, as a black person. <laughs> took, took that away a little bit? And they highlighted it. It was like, yo, this is y'all shit. <laughs> Which sounds right. <laughs> but if I subscribe to the marketing of it, don't really sound right though. But a few of them, I was like, well, why is it not our holiday? Like, do you still want slaves? <laughs> like, y'all should be happy that the slave, no? Like, why? You're like, hey, y'all got that off on us. <laughs> like, that's how it started to sound. You pulled a fast one, buddy. Uh, yo, y'all got your, huh? got your freedom, got right? It too. Look. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> our little fake freedom. <laughs> hey, they gave us our. Hey, and this is what I'm gonna talk to. We are so conditioned. I gotta talk to my hood niggas, yo. All, all Juneteenth, I had to hear niggas say, "Yeah, I'm not, I'm not checking for Gunner." I was like, "Well, all right, so we, we want a few people to have freedom." <laughs> right. Everybody should not have their freedom. It's like, what are we celebrating? Conditional freedom. A lot of your hood niggas was lying to you too. But what? Niggas was checking for that gunner. Yeah, they was. I saw that. Yeah. I got some phone calls. A couple of my people that live in Atlanta was like, yo, dog, I ain't gonna say it publicly. You was right. Mm. Everywhere I've been, this is this shit been playing outside. Mm. Like the streets are fucking with it. Don't let nobody tell you different. Is like, there any stats on the album just yet? No, nah, it's too soon. Mm. I don't know the fuck streets talking about. <laughs> I've been doing this right here the whole time. All a nigga gotta do is melody his way out of some shit, boy. Bell Biff DeVoe right on out of that. Hey. Oh, my God. A little melody on that snitching? <laughs> Listen, buddy. I don't give a fuck. All you gotta do is throw a little salzone on that on top of that snitching. <laughs> Hey, if you're going to do this, you, hey, snitch on some more niggas. Stop <laughs> shit. <laughs> if he going to sound like this, this shit is heat. That album is heat, man. Niggas, it, it really is. Mm. It is. I, it is. I don't have nothing to fight about with that They one. say that his Sorry. album was better than Dirt Joint. It, mm -hmm. And you agree? Yeah. Mm. That's a fact. It was not close. That's a fact. Really? Yeah, big fact. It's not close. See? All that non-snitching shit. All right. <laughs> y'all keep y'all non-snitches <laughs> and listen to that. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's stupid, yo. Levels. A little extra, extra on for the Wendy's. I feel like Ice was the nigga saying Atlanta niggas wasn't going to rock with it. No. I never said that. And I don't have stats on it. I think it was projected if I'm just freestyling to round 60. That's mm. not bad. Not bad. For surprise, surprise drop. drop. No, yeah. I mean you had the one record, but you didn't know what what that was, or mm -hmm. no no marketing playing around it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't care what it sell. If it sound good to me, I'm straight. Facts. My ears don't hear record sales or snitching. 
Na, det är snyggt. Ja. <laughs> Here's your snitching, nigga. You're not against it, though. So you just well, against what? Snitching. I don't care. Okay. Uh, said my I head. am a law-abiding citizen. I don't care what the snitches do or don't do. If half of that shit that they saying them niggas did is true, then I'm going to start asking why y'all not listening to it. Because how you going to support niggas running around killing kids and all types of other shit? Mm. Mm. But it's hip-hop, so y'all don't want to talk about it. Mm. It's culture. It's yeah. Culture. yeah, exactly. Happy yeah. Juneteenth. There you go. Oh <laughs> Lord! Whoa, you all right? You don't have to end it like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was a lot of hypocrisy it is. from these street niggas. It is. Let me we show hypocrites, all of us. We it hypocrites. feels so good to just obey the law, go to bed, go to work, <laughs> not have to worry about none of that shit at all. Keep it. Hmm. Did anyone happen to catch the ABC primetime special on Juneteenth about Juneteenth? And celebrating 50 years of hip hop. You was on there, right? I was. Yeah. Yeah. I Shout am feeling a lot of support from the room. I didn't see it, we didn't but see I am going to watch it. But, but it. <laughs> <laughs> they, they sent it to me on Twitter. <laughs> they sent it to me on Twitter. <laughs> Shout out to Mel. <laughs> Happy Juneteenth. Oh, God. I love 50 I, years of hip hop. I love my guys. <laughs> Happy Juneteenth. Melissa Ford, everybody. Oh, Melissa J. Whitworth Ford. Nah, fuck the best shit. <laughs> fire, Mel. That yeah. shit. Oh. Fire. Thank you. Oh, man. How did you feel? Um, <laughs> I, I liked it. Listen, nice. it was um, hosted and EP'd by Angie Martinez. Yes. It was fantastic. I liked it. Dope. Did mm-hmm. you watch it live? or was Yes, you... yes. Okay. I and was in bed watching it at 10 p.m. live. Did you record it as well? And I recorded Hell it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Shout out to Mel. I did. I did. No, nah, you killed that shit, though. So let me ask you a question. If you didn't say it, like, we would have went with the subject without acknowledging it. Like, you, were you going to wait for us to acknowledge it to see if we saw it? Like, how long you was going to wait? Because you went straight into it at first. <laughs> I know y'all motherfuckers did not watch it. I, I don't. No, I got you. you said I, saw it. I thought you were talking about the album. You DVR'd it. I'm sure you DVR'd it. It's in the cloud. Right. Got it. It's in mm-hmm. the same closet, that shoebox, that, that nigga you put with. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, sorry. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's at. Yeah. It's I mean, they, they, they was like, yo, Mel's on ABC. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to you, man. I appreciate so, that. Thank you. Thank you. It was good. Paul, I'm disappointed you ain't see it. You usually watch TV. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do usually watch TV. I missed it. I missed it. <clears throat> I'm going wa- to watch it. I promise. Good. <laughs> I hate y'all. Uh, what Gunnar just said? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, what's that snitching shit? What's that snitching melody? <laughs> what's that snitching melody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez>. oh. <laughs> that shit, I yeah. Let's get some nigga shit back in. The- <laughs> Holy shit! Oh man, back. Yo, I can't believe this nigga told shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. Holy oh, yeah. shit! My guys. I wish she would start putting us. In the best position to win. <laughs> She's coming in here doing that on purpose. I'm telling you. <laughs> she set us up. She set us up. All right. We said it was a bunch of setups coming. Yeah. Oh I didn't expect it from Mel, though. Trap oh City. <laughs> Who'd you expect it from? <laughs> That's why I was like. The melody's going to come crazy. Watch. All right. Yeah. Where's my phone? Oh, shit, man. Mm-hmm. Father's Day. Mm-hmm. Father's Day. Now that I know y'all had a nice, peaceful Father's Day. Uh huh. There's a few people that didn't. Mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. A few of these niggas is my man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. So now I was glued all day. I was just thinking about my man Brian McKnight and Brian McKnight Jr. <laughs> and Brian McKnight Jr. <laughs> <laughs> junior, junior. The double juniors. <laughs> Junior, Junior the second. second. Junior the second. Junior the second, Junior the second is crazy. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> Y'all niggas are stupid. All day I was thinking about dumb. I was like, damn, man. The McKnight's probably ain't having the best of days. But then I ran across, uh, I ran across, uh, I guess Rico Love is my man. That's my man, man. Mm. Damn. Hurts when you got a part about people you love. 
It's a few niggas I got a part about today that I love. Uh, Rico Love did an interview. Well, let me just play what he said. <laughs> should study and understand postpartum. I'm an ambitious person. When my son was born, I would go to bed from the studio four in the morning, I get up at seven, and then you see somebody in the bed till three, and you're thinking she's not ambitious. Not realizing, you a, idiot, a she's pattern. sad. She's going through postpartum. My therapist started just kind of peeling back the layers for me. Like, so when did this happen? The baby. Oh, she had these mother kids. Yeah. If I could really apologize to my kid's mom for one major thing, it was my ignorance to how postpartum works. It's really women, like you need to know all these things. Men are just there to. <laughs> now, I didn't really hear nothing wrong. Yeah, I, 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 I was like, what a joke. Uh, I seen that and was like, all right, <laughs> that's respect. Right. Account accountability. But <clears throat> that is not how your exit, you can't, you can't get on no interview talking about postpartum and therapy and how much of a better man you are and your ex see it. So his ex seeing it, his children's mom, mm -hmm. Robin, who I love. Okay. A uh, photographer out in uh, Miami, shop with everybody. Mm -hmm. Robin said, us women need to not be so gullible when it comes to men. It is prudent to our own protection. Just because a man speaks with intelligence, has money or a calm demeanor, doesn't mean that he's a good person. You've heard it from the horse's mouth. It's been two years now since we separated and all you do is talk about me to anyone that will listen. You've always been a liar, a bully, a cheater, and an abuser. This act of being a good person is getting old. You abandoned me and your son. You left us when he was not even one years old. You got yourself an apartment with a gate guard so I wouldn't have entry. You wanted to do your cheating in peace. You funded my career not because you cared, you actually didn't give a shit. You just needed to keep me distracted so you could cheat in peace. Fast forward to when our daughter was born. During my six-week checkup, I found out that your dirty, lying, cheating ass gave me an STD. Nothing I did for you ever was good enough, not even the threesomes. You snuck a dancer into our condo while your mother was downstairs sleeping, waking me up out of my sleep to have sex with you and a stranger when I told you I was upset because I had just found out my dad had cancer. You couldn't even keep the shit to yourself. Like a kid, you wrote about all of our personal business and your music. Again, good person where? God damn. What? She been waiting to let that cannon off. Mm. Wow, damn. Now, sheesh. Remind me to not talk about postpartum. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Yikes. I'm trying to figure out what did he say that was so bad that did that sounds like anything he said anything once you well her point was in one of the slides mm -hmm. she was like the nerve oh in her caption she was like the, the nerve of you to act like postpartum was the sole cause of anything related to me or us mm -hmm. he didn't say that though he was just saying he didn't he looked at you being in bed all the time as you being with, with no ambition and he's realizing that wasn't the case and he apologized for not being more educated in, in understanding that. He didn't say that was our issue and I left her or I couldn't be with her because of that. Yeah, I don't hear, I don't hear what you're saying. It's not just postpartum. If you're asking me to fuck strippers, if you are not acknowledging that I'm upset over my dad's health, there mm -hmm. are other things going on. So if you're going to acknowledge your negligence, then acknowledge it all the way around the board, not just to look like some good person in the media. Mm. Yeah. That's but what I took from I it. couldn't even focus on this. Shout out to Rico Love. Shout out to uh, uh, Robin. Robin, I hope all is well. I couldn't stay on this. Because <laughs> there was more drama unfolding. I'm going to leave that alone. Man. Go ahead. And then some other shit came. And this is when I come across half court. <laughs> stay there. Stop my dribble. <laughs> <laughs> and dish to someone. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> come on, Flip. Hot potato, hot potato. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. Come on, Flip. What, Russell Simmons? Yeah. Yes. Man, <laughs> listen, you, you want to start with me? No. Okay. <laughs> the side that I'm on, I don't think you guys want to start with me. So let's just have somebody. <laughs> All right, let's tell the people what happened. Yes, please. Um, 
That nigga gonna rep Queens no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> That's Russell. I see. I can't even start it. Yeah, you've I grown up with me. You've oh. seen my shows. You've seen my work. You wear my clothes. Um, others of you know me very well. You know me personally. You know my kids. You know my exes. You know the dads. A lot of people here um, know both of us. You know, and they know he's wrong. All the friends have said this is wrong. This is crazy. I don't understand it. But they still support him. I feel like it's one of those things where he's just like a big, bigger than life kind of, you know, uh, powerhouse. And so he just kind of turns and manipulates the press and people and to believe, you know, anything like you, like gaslighting, you know, like that didn't happen. I didn't do that to you. Uh, I didn't do those things to you. I didn't, you know, you're imagining things. How many countless women have said this, have been told this, I should say, or would say this to you? Myself and my two girls who are adults included, you know? You guys didn't just start to see my kids. We didn't just go through a divorce. We went through this divorce, I don't know. This was on Father's Day. 20 years ago. 20 some odd years ago. So this is not a situation. Again, you can get receipts. You can go see where they say like, oh, kids been brainwashed. But we've been fine up until these past several years. So, you know, what happened? All of a sudden now the kids are brainwashed. All of a sudden now these young women who are grown women are babies. You know, you they, they have their own relationship with you. You have their, your own non-existent relationship with them. I'm just asking that you please leave us alone. You know, I've tried to go to lawyers and get help. I've tried to show all the crazy texts I've had to block. Like, you do crazy shit, like send pic pic flowers to yourself and take a picture and send post it on the gram and tell everybody I sent you flowers. Again, I have receipts of all of this. I have receipts from your office saying that you sent flowers to yourself without my permission. I have all of this. You guys have never seen it because it just doesn't war it you know it doesn't rise to that occasion i mind my own business but please don't attack my children it's a little lengthy she went on mm. she went on for a while uh that was the first video that came out not too long after uh their daughter released hey, okay. a video uh pretty intense video uh, do i have that video because i want to be clear <clears throat> I want to get everybody's. I don't think. What I brings have you video. to that point? That's Simultaneously what I going on Instagram and attacking, you know, attacking whomever. Like it's you know both of them at the same time. I mean, we could all reach a boiling point, or, okay, or a point where um, enough is enough. You feel like you're not getting proper support, or um, <clears throat> from them speaking, he's a powerful dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so you, if you've tried to uh, rectify the situation um, off record, off mic, behind closed doors, and you're not getting any support or it's not going anywhere, sometimes you feel helpless and you feel like, I'm going to take it to the public because the public might have a, you know, a better chance on me getting some, some, some sanity. Mm. Oh. Okay. All right, we've got the daughter. We've got the daughter. Hold up. Which daughter is this? I don't like to have okay. for my dad. I have defended him every which way about stuff that I don't even know about. <laughs> I was like 15, not knowing what sexual assault was, and I'm still defending my dad. Like, my dad's a good person. I've been a good daughter my whole life. And so you're not going to say that I'm ungrateful or awful. This man is awful to me. He's done awful things to me. <laughs> and I'm so tired of it. And all... And Everyone just says, everyone loves your dad. Everyone you work with loves your dad. No one's going to back you up. No one's going to have you model for them because they all love your dad. He's a terrible person. So if I never get any jobs ever again, then like, fine, I will go be a lawyer in the entertainment industry because I shouldn't have to lie or be bullied by a child. I have made so much out all right. <clears throat> Talk to listen to. That was yeah, the one. Very, yeah, that yeah. was the one. Yeah. And she also released um, WhatsApp screenshots of their conversations. And uh, he's, um, he's pretty brutal, you know, calls them pieces of shit, calls them the C word. Um, this is, in, you know, what she's indicated. 
Um, and she also fears that going against him, like she said, that she'll be blackballed, which is really interesting because that is a fear that a lot of women have when it comes to, you know, speaking up against somebody who's in a position of power, but it being your own daughter who's afraid of being blackballed. That's that's some that's some next level shit right there. You know, and Let me tell you, buddy, it's tough to beat that type of coordinated attack on Father's Day. I give a fuck <laughs> who's right or wrong. I don't have yeah. all the details. Yeah. It's, this is their personal information and business. But mom and daughter on Father's Day tough. in tears on you. That's your ass, buddy. Mm. That is your ass. It's the daughter. Then the daughter put out the video on mute of Russ spazzing out. Oh, he, was, he was upset. He was angry. Then the stupid internet people done went and found some <laughs> mouth, mouth readers. <laughs> they done found the mouth readers to come and tell us what Russ was saying. My dumb ass looking in the bed like, oh, yep. <laughs> That's, it. That's what he said. They match up right. You love yeah, it. Yeah, no, they match, they match up. I am broke. <laughs> she took she everything. took everything. So. Is that what he was saying? Like mouthing? That's what he said. Like that's, that's what the mouth reader Okay. And the daughter mentioned that in one of, in one of uh, her joint. And the mother, and, and Kimura mentioned it too. I don't know if he's falling on hard times. I don't know what's going on. He's, he's hit rock bottom, <laughs> allegedly. That's what she said. All right, so let's get to it. Let's embrace the beat. Is there a beat? I just don't know if I believe the whole broke thing. I mean, he's got, from what I understand, he's living a little lavish in Bali. How much things cost in Bali? Man, stop, man. Come on, man. What the fuck do you... Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm just telling you. Just tell me. You, what do you think? You, that Bali's that, some third world bullshit ass country? I don't like think country where there's a bunch of huts and shit? I'm, no, well, that's expensive. what you said. I didn't say that. She's standing but on the you, island alone. Can you tell us more about yeah. what you think his lifestyle is in Bali? Yeah, in Bali, yeah. Uh, it was a conversation that I was having with people who have actually been to his residence, which is kind of almost like a villa slash hotel. Like, it's... It's kind of palatial. I'm not palatial. Got yeah. It. So, and I'm not revealing who these people are because uh, it was you're a rat already. Too late now. I've been rat. <laughs> Too late now. Uh oh. What? But he. Every, uh. you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're off. Stitchy shit. Stitchy How he live in Bali. That's the last time That's, I say some so hearsay. fucking shit here. So hearsay. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, sure. We'll so go, hearsay. We'll go with hearsay. Yep. I haven't been there. So on your very, on our very <laughs> popular broadcast, mm -hmm. you bring hearsay to speak to how the man is living. Okay. Continue. Get your shit off. It, we so you is, it, is it hearsay if it's directly from people who have been there? Yes. It's yes. Hear, it's hearsay. Okay. It's hearsay when you don't have... Um, the financial costs and breakdowns of what it is to live in Bali. All first hand knowledge. So we could we could say, yo, um, somebody's villa is ten thousand square feet in Bali, but mm -hmm. that might cost seven hundred thousand dollars U.S. Or okay. that person can be you get really good friends and with that, a powerful person who just putting them up. No, the cost of living in Bali is really really cheap. No, so, what I'm saying. So you could go to it's... Bali and buy some huge. Shit. Have you been to Bali? No. Okay, I have. And oh, so, shit, got him. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually did a lot of research about purchasing oh, yeah. property oh, there. So. Hold the fuck up. I don't like that. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go down. This is a, this is a, we're just, on a serious topic, guys. I'm just saying. Me too. It's a phone here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 I don't want to argue with you. Get a Google. Get a Google. I don't want to argue. Oh, go to Google. Basically, the cost of living in Bali is a fraction of what it costs to live here. Well, nobody said. Mel, can I speak, Mel, please? Pretty please? Between this and the you somebody else rest. run the wing. I'm good. <laughs> no, somebody else run the wing. If you just run that way. You Why have do you stop at the same time? I hate that. Can somebody fucking hit me? And then they look at me. He just told you somebody run the wing. Listen, this is not even one of the main points. It's not, it's who not, cares? It's not imperative at all. Yeah, who cares how much it costs to live in Bali? But we okay. should not uh, approach this with hearsay. Let's go with what we know. And if the dude is saying, let me, let me tell you something. If... It's never happened to me because I've never been that fortunate. But if I felt like somebody fleeced me for $250 million, boy, oh boy, am I going to look a lot worse than he did <laughs> on that phone. Now, I wouldn't look like that to my kids. The kid part. That's, that's what got that's me. I wouldn't look like that when to my I kids. Heard, yeah. When I heard the um, sincerity, mm -hmm. I think, 
or I'm taking it as sincerity. And the hurt from the daughter, mm-hmm. I don't care what the mom was saying. You know what True. I'm saying? When I heard the daughter and she was expressing all of these things, it was like, yo, all right, she got me. The mom is a different situation. When I heard his daughter, and again, you can hear the hurt. Like, yo, I defended you, dog. Against, you've been, you've stuff, been horrible I don't even know what it meant. You've been horrible to us. I was defending you when I was a child. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And for now, that to carry over into our adulthood and you're still being a piece of shit, like, eh. You know what I mean? That 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 was the one that got it for me. I didn't really care about um, Kamora Lee so much because adults do. Lie adults go through yeah, what they yeah, go. Yeah, 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 they go through. But the kid thing got me. So it's three um, sides. The kid thing is what, what, what kind of got me. So I don't know how the children would possibly steal any of his money. You know what I'm saying? It might have been allocated to them. I don't know. But I know at one point, Russell Simmons was online to being the first hip-hop billionaire. So for him to say he's broke, that was a, a huge fall. Yeah, he probably mean rich nigga broke. I was just going to say, what's broke to him? If I'm close yeah. to being a billionaire. And no, I'm not. Yeah. Listen, I could have used that 250 M's. For sure. I'll tell you that much. Got my nigga running around like Franklin at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shit. Well, be clear. That ain't, that, I don't know. Was it the loss of the 250 M's that got him running around like that? Or them old accusations he ran from? Be oh, clear, shit. because everybody was saying, yo, he ain't come back. Once that stuff hit, he left. <clears throat> but he's been back. He's We've been, been back. seeing he's him. Been back, yeah. He's I'm been just, in Brooklyn. He's been, he's been in New York. He's been chilling. <laughs> he's been chilling. He's been walking around chilling. <laughs> he's been on Instagram <laughs> live. <laughs> this nigga been on Facebook live. Yeah, he's been, he been outside. He's been, yeah, yeah. Right. been in Carbone. <laughs> <laughs> he's been back. <laughs> he's been back. Okay. <laughs> Girls are like, yeah, don't come you can never come back. I'm back. Cue, cue up the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a new pair of shell toes. Why don't you? Hey, Give me some shell toes. What the fuck are you talking about? Let me call my famous brothers. Hey, they froze uh, my accounts. <laughs> Send 70 million. Fast. Oh, the man, fuck? But you, you, usually when parents go through something, right, and the kids don't choose a side. When you get older, right, and you say you're mad at the father, you tend to regurgitate stuff that happened before. And that could be happening. You know what I'm saying? Or if Russell may see some similarities of what happened, he's automatically going to bring up the lawsuit of what happened. Like, your mother took this from me and you guys are probably with her. Your mother mm-hmm. took this from me and you guys are on her side. I provided this. I helped her with baby fat. I did this. I did that. And look where you guys are standing. That's, That's why what... I don't like some of that shit Kamora Lee said in that video. You forgot I'm, about I'm baby not... fat? Yeah, like, you was there. <laughs> up. Up, up. Yeah, baby fat was lit. Standing by him. <laughs> Being protective. <laughs> Talk about it. She spoke about it. She did. So that's the thing of mine. I run to people's aid. I run to their defense. My parents, yeah. anybody I love. But damn, it's tough to look at when you just flip on a nigga and start talking about, yeah, I was a sophomore. And like, she. That was crazy. She I tried like to finish him. That's the part. And if you like. try, well, we assume he's finished. People assume he's finished. And you trying to finish him. You trying to finish him. Let me know what type of talks y'all having in the house when he ain't there. <laughs> Oh. The part I, 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 God damn I, I felt, I I felt, I felt like I felt like telling the story about the whole sophomore thing and when she was dating him in high school was unnecessary. Me personally, because it's, 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 it's sort of um, validates the claims that were against him anyway from what, her. What she could have just kept. Hold on, wait, hold on. If she could have just kept are, it. If it was true, you were complicit. You are a participant. Yeah, in exactly. She could have just kept that. Why? Why she didn't? Why she didn't keep it on? You treat us like shit. Ever since I took two hundred fifty thousand, or I wanted, or whatever, from the divorce, you treat our daughters like shit. You talk to me like shit. Why? Why do niggas have to go back and tell and tell a story of the past? Like, why do people do that? What was the point of saying, yeah, I, I was a sophomore, and let me remember. Oh, it was before junior prom and senior prom. Junior prom. I never know they had a fucking junior prom. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, or it could just show. <laughs> you threw salt on the wound. It's the truth. It could. You, I'm not disagreeing It, it with could you. show, like, yo, th- yes, I've been rocking with you for all of this time. Even, even looking back, that was fucked up. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. I rocked with you, rocked with you, rocked with you, rocked with you. Yes, I benefited when you gave me baby fat, et cetera. We are not together. And, yo, I, I held you down for all these years. So, she, so, she's, so, so she's admitting that she was complicit in, in the situation. I don't know about I don't oh, know if she was there it. in that situation. Oh, I, I can't speak on that. Right. If she said, yo, the nigga dated me when I was a sophomore in high school, that's a him and her thing. That's exactly. Not- there it goes. So was that necessary to say on live? You just said him and her thing. Was that necessary to say on live at that point when you're talking about how he's currently treating you and your children? If I'm establishing a pattern, yeah. 
It is necessary. What, what, what was the pattern? What the, patterns is that? Nigga, you've been up. You've been a predator from day one, <clears> apparently. <throat> so what? The, the, so the predator, same predator that you married though. Yeah, and the predator. What does the predatory have to do with the children? We've seen people. We've seen grooming. We've seen people not really know that they was oh, a, a fucking oh, a oh, victim shit. until later on. We know that, right? That is true. It's true. a fact. That's a fact. You're right. That's a fact. Because society, you know, they they, they provide these new words and definitions and stuff like that, and sort of <laughs> put things in your mind. She's oh, that, that, or that, that's what I hold on. That's what I was going through at that time. Oh man! Or I was groomed, or I was no, no, no disrespect. I was gassed like this. Gaslighted. I was yeah, gaslighted. Gaslit. Yeah, gaslit yeah, that's and gassed. Yeah, and gassed. I do believe what you're saying Those, would be correct. Wait, 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 hold on. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Go ahead. When I went outside and decided to go against my mother and hop in the new Benz and change my fucking earrings from the name earrings to diamond studs and get all the Puerto Rican Jordans that I can get, <laughs> I didn't think that was wrong when my mother told me because your mother always tell you as a child to stay away from these niggas. See, people don't want to go back to that, what mama said. Mama said, don't watch. if a grown man look at you, stay away from them. Don't wear that. Don't show your belly. Mama says that, but they correct. don't want to identify that. They want to identify that I was tricked by this older man when he came to pick me up from school, when I cut class from my teacher, Ms. Facts. Johnson, told Facts. me not to leave class. When I put the bathroom past, Word. they don't want to admit none of that shit. I had All of that. I had the second outfit in my book bag. Exactly. Out. Second like, outfit in the back. Change it by the bus stop, nigga. Hey, Flip. All that's right. That don't take nothing off that older nigga who knew better. You was a kid and didn't. True. So all that you saying don't mean shit. He's right. Mm. This is a child who don't know no better versus an adult who does. Do you not know no better though? A child who don't know no better versus an adult who does. But end of discussion. Do you really not know better? Or you yeah, just no, choose you don't not know, to know? No, you don't ice. know better. You no, don't even have life ice. experiences how time, yet to know how better. How much times moms told us not to go outside on that street corner? We knew better not to go up there, but we liked what the oh, niggas oh, was getting, wrong so person, we went. Wrong person. I'm just saying. He wasn't on the street. Yeah, yeah, he I, didn't go. He, okay, he cool. didn't go. He chose not to. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I hold that. I'm gonna get that you too. I know you got it ready for me. <laughs> you got it ready for me, man. I know. How much times did mama love tell us not to do something and we did it anyway? Does that mean we didn't know better? Were we manipulated or we just chose to do hey, what people do? You, what we want? You are correct. And then Mom, now, hold these, up, let, me on, let me just say, you ask me a now question, let days, me answer for A lot of adults are saying the kids got a voice at fucking 12 years old, <laughs> nigga. They don't. I'm with You I'm got a voice. Uh, <laughs> you want to cut your hair? You want to go pierce your belly button without my permission? <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? We picking and choosing? No, we're not. Can you get your shit off? No, we're not picking and choosing at all. Okay, get you. You have a boy. But again, mom's telling you not to do something. Kids are kids rebel. That's what they do. It don't take nothing off of an adult who I knows agree. this is a rebelling kid who knows better. You're right. Okay. The adult is supposed to know better in the situation. That's it. It don't matter. It right. don't matter if it's dating a younger girl. It don't matter if it's gi giving a little nigga a gun to go shoot some shit up. You're right. You are supposed to know better than not send, not set no kids up to do no shit they're supposed to do. You're right. He's, he's right. right, but he's not addressing what, what our, our point is. He's right, but he's not addressing our point. Ice is definitely I, right. You are correct. 100% A right. child is a child. The responsibility falls on the adult, the not the child. Yeah. No argument. He was arguing. No. His argument, and I think... A small portion of mine. <laughs> I don't know She's how big my balls is feeling. <laughs> Flip at a, a pod off. <laughs> I ain't no pod off. His point in a small, in a small portion, a very tiny <laughs> slither of mine, says, "Okay, but then you became an adult, and okay. then you were paraded everywhere as an adult with an adult. Mm -hmm. You no longer have a child brain." Correct. Then you became the ambassador and spokesperson for, I was outside when, when that was out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, when that yeah. was a thing and all the girls had it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You became an ambassador for his shit. Mm -hmm. Keep going. As he was at the top of the music business, he gave you your own, your own shit, your own line. That shit skyrocketed. It did. You married did. him. You had another child. At some point, <laughs> at some point. You are complicit. That's what we're saying. Mary, yes, and, and you're not. You, I'm, I'm with Ice. I'm with Ice with regards to my whole thing is why did you bring that up 30 years later? That's one. That's me. When you know what his reputation has been, whether the allegations have been true or false, mm -hmm. you know what they have been. Why do that now? You hitting below the belt. That's number one. Then number two, <clears throat> in all of that stuff, um, when all those sexual allegations was going on, mm -hmm. you was rocking with him. You was defending him. Mm -hmm. So now don't use those same women and want to stand on the side of those same women now when it benefits you because when them bitches were saying the stuff before, mm -hmm. you was women. defending him. Women. 
women. Pardon me. Women. When the women were saying that stuff before, you was defending them and you was riding with them. Now you're going to jump on the side of those women when you are uh, uh, the abused. I don't abused. see jumping on the side of him, but at the same side time. Ice. You are the abused and the accused now. You want to say, yeah, you, y'all been seeing this for years, how he been doing women. Yeah, they were saying that to you too when you was laying in his bed. You can't pick and choose when you want to be on the side of the accused or the accuser. Hey, that when shit it's happened. at your benefit. I ain't saying pick and choose, but that shit well, happened every day when the window. Don't make it right. I can't, don't care. Don't make it right. The hood and pull from over your eyes and you see yeah, what like, yeah, that happens. That's where I'm with. I can't, I can't so say wait, she's wolf, complicit for not knowing happens, better dog. and then chastise her she's when she behaves like she knows better. He's been treating her like shit for decades. And if he's been treating you like shit for decades, when you are hearing these other women's cries, how dare you turn a blind eye to them and now decades later come back and say yeah y'all y'all was there too when he was doing X, Y, Z to them women I'm not saying that the women are wrong. wrong nor are I'm saying now for her to point it out and weaponize it is wrong I'm saying it's wrong all across the board you get what I'm saying it, it's wrong all across the board that, that's my opinion like to bring just, it out now people, it's just people, such people a personal matter I don't, I, don't yeah, I, yeah. I hate that it's po I hate that it's a podcast topic I hate that things like this hit the internet. Like, well, kind of like he said, if I'm going against a powerful person who's been doing all of this and nothing else, I, some people resort to that because they true. don't have nothing else. That's true. Okay, that's true. That's he a, got friends that. everywhere. That's, that's true. That's, that's I don't true. have to be up like you just said. Yo, I got. I can still come back. Let me call one of my famous brothers. Float, float me that money, and I can make a move. That's true. So if I'm up against that, sometimes I ain't got no choice but to go to the internet. That's true. That's what happens today. When you say up against him, him, he has a different level of power, prestige, and his the pa power don't necessarily mean money. Mm -mm. His relationships are powerful, so she might not be able to fight him. Well, that's why the daughter is talking about not being yes. able to work anymore yes. mm. in this business and so forth. And she so just forth. threw that out. No. Don't do that. Come on, she just don't threw do that. that. Don't do that. Because nah, if, just, no, if, yo, what if he told her, yo, you know who I? Am. What she did quote in, in, in her in her message. She said, yo. They love me. Won't nobody hire you to do nothing. If, that's, said, the, if staying, that's the truth, she, she then said, that's going up against She said, that. I just left college, and I'm in New York currently at a friend's house staying over here. Whatever she's getting ready to pursue, I'm pretty sure that she is going to pursue it. Saying that, like, I'm pretty, saying that during uh, emotional testimony is, it could be looked at both ways. Because you could use it as a crutch to be like, ah, yo, this nigga try to keep me down. So, and then somebody else is going to play superhero and help you out. Yeah, don't kick my back yeah. in as a public job application. Yeah. So, or it could be the truth. Or it could be, oh, well, you got a job. Okay, if Russell wouldn't hire you. He's building no, you. No, Come over here and model for no, us no, no, at no. Calvin Klein. See, wait, hold up. Can I just respond to you? See, and this is where it get tricky and I'm going to get out of here. It's tricky. It's very tricky. Sorry, man. Well, actually, she's an adult. She's an adult. Forget what I was about to Mel, you have something to say about this, Mel? I've been waiting. I was just going to say that that's not, that's not the way that blackballing works. Okay. You know what I mean? It's a really insidious backdoor kind of thing that happens. You're not told, oh, I'm not going to work with you because your father said I'm not, because your father said fuck you, basically. That's not how blackballing works. Mm -hmm. It just means that, oh, you, every time you go up for a job, oh, you know what? We're actually going to go in a different direction, and it's consistent, and you just begin to understand that that is what happened. That's how blackballing works. It. it is a very insidious, dark network of shit that you are, and it's you're being you're gaslit the whole way through because you know that that's what's happening, but nobody's saying it. You know what I'm saying? Like I do, I under I hear everything that you guys are saying, and you're wondering why, you know. Kamora could be could be standing tall and defending him when all of these accusations are being made, et cetera, et cetera. We're not wondering why. Nobody said that. That's her job. That's We're her not job. wondering why at all. That's her okay, job. So why would she now be saying something contrary to what she had been why saying? Why would you weaponize it now to get the people on your team is what I'm saying. I think that because possibly, and this is in no defense because like you said, this is clearly not our business, but we're discussing it. I feel like she's at a point in which it's become too much to handle. You know what I'm saying? Just too much to go against this machine that refuses to acknowledge and do anything about who people think he is. Like the truth of who people think he is. 
You know what I mean? It's messy and it's uncomfortable. And to watch Aoki crying like that mm -hmm. was really, that was really, it. really yeah, heartbreaking. Was, I agree. That you know, it. and this is, a, this is a really ugly family drama that's playing out um, in the public eye. And it just seems like these days, the reason why th things play out in the public is because that's the only way that things kind of get solved. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't believe that. Me either. I don't believe that at all. I believe I, I, I can't. No, no, I don't know. Maybe that the public outcry shit will help, but there's other ways to get it done. Depending on what you're trying to get, do, uh, True. get done. That's, true. That that's, why, that's question, why I was asking, the, when you say the, like, what do you think their goal was? There has to be a goal in that. She said, y'all just want you to leave us alone. I don't know if Yeah, that but I don't, agree, I don't agree with that. Why? Excuse me? You don't agree to what? What, what part? That he should leave them alone? I don't agree with the mother of my kids saying, yo, leave us alone yeah, for I, life. Okay. I see what you're saying. They grown though. They got their own relationships. So, and, and even in Aoki's um, thing, she was like, yo, like, sometimes he'll text me. If I don't text him right back, he'll start cursing at me, calling me names. It's just sometimes I don't necessarily want to speak to you. Like, I have that right to not speak to you True. until I feel like it. I'm not defending. I got that part. You get what I'm saying? So I I'm understand just, that. I'm just saying. So, I don't think that it's a bad thing when your kids are grown. To say, yo, dog, if they don't want to be bothered with you, they don't want to be bothered with you. And that's also the For thing. you to start cursing me out and calling me names and all of that other stuff because I may not want to speak to you based on some shit you said to me three months ago, that's my right. And that's the thing about kids that, as well. You just said a lot, pardon yeah, me. Okay. All of which I agree with, but none of which I was addressing. I was only addressing Kamora saying, I just wish you would leave us the fuck alone. As a dad that clearly wants to be in my kid's life, no is the answer to that. But I think you I'm not leaving you alone. So when does it become so harassment what? then? If, if the kid is grown, if the kid and is, we all are saying, yo, dad. If the kid is expressing that sentiment, yeah, because she you said, look, mom, I'm going to say that. That's true. Aoki said, dad, I stopped talking to you because you were giving me panic attacks. Like, I'm telling you, I don't want to talk to you because it's fucking with me every time we do. Well, they got him by the balls because the next step for me, would be court. Mm. Sure. Which will probably not be the next step over there. No, but, but did, did you, would, you would then side with the mom. Like, I'm objective, so you would then side with the mom. If my kids are saying that you are causing them mental distress, nigga, leave us the fuck alone. And that's the thing about kids, is the older that they get, it's, less, it's not even about brainwashing, it's about them having their own yeah. eyes and mm -hmm. seeing... Seeing what's mm. actually transpiring, but using, not always, using the past, I'm not, I'm, I'm, no. using I'm, the past is convenience. No, that's no, you, because that you all that brainwashing that led up to this is why is exactly. why is, is not, what it is true is in you. Now this is what you're thinking. Yeah, now this you're is looking more. at it with a tinted lens now because yeah, of everything you were brainwashed. It's, over not years a, thinking. it's not a coincidence that we continue to see black fathers across the boards, especially entertainers, repeat that. Hey, brainwashing. Hey. You told the kid X, Y, Z, hey, there's some things that you don't understand as a child. That true, you don't. true. I, I think and it's you unfortunate. And you a bitch-ass nigga. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. And you a bitch-ass nigga if you address it. As the man, you got to kind of sit there, grin and bear it, and take all the punches and not say a fucking word to your kids about the stuff that their mother when, is when telling you, when, I, you, when you raise because your... Because you a bitch-ass nigga. If you then say, no, your mother did X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, you a bitch-ass nigga. I guess and I... see, that's where that's I... True. I, I, I I get, and it could be speaking from. Huh? A, I've been I've been told my stance on this comes from a position of pr uh, privilege, but I believe to prevent that, you have to be there. Right. I guess flat out. Yeah, yeah that's privilege. I guess privilege. I I guess privilege. I just have a different perspective because um, my mother after my father passed away, my mother never never bad bad mouthed him. Ever. She could have shit all over my father's, my, my memories of my father. She could have because of all the stuff I discovered after the fact and as an adult. She never, ever said anything about my father. She let me have my memories, my fond memories. I was a total daddy's little girl. And, I, and, I, and that was what I needed in order to, you know, help me through my grief. Shout, shout to your mom. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. And so... In hindsight, after finding out some of the stuff that transpired during the course of their relationship and finding out things about my father that, you know, were 
really were kind of predatory in terms of like the age difference between the two and maybe some possible grooming. It has been, shout out to my mom for real, yeah. you know, for being able to do that. So I just think that. All mothers don't do that. Exactly. That's what I was about to say, is that not all mothers do that. Some, some mothers, they don't weaponize, you know, the strife between them and, the, and, and their partner. And they just kind but of. But even in acknowledging that, you have to acknowledge those that do. Yeah, no, there, there's so, definitely, okay. definitely. How do you fight that? When you, how do you fight that? Like, as like a for, man? Yeah, as a man. How do you fight that if you, you, you are not with your child's mom and she is um, attempting to brainwash or badmouth you to the child? What's your, what's your defense you, against that? You hope at some point um, the children will get older. Mm -hmm. The children will be open-minded enough to sit and have a conversation with you. Some people don't ever get that. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Some some kids grow up thinking through life, yo, my mother didn't give a fuck about me, my father didn't give a fuck about me, and it could be something totally to the contrary. Mm -hmm. You could have had a man or a woman, because it happens in both, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. more prevalent in men, that the, 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 the guy is vying for attention, vying for uh, visits, summers, whatever the case may be, and the woman is saying, no, fuck you. And see, that's where and I... So, I, and so, um, there are things in place that... So, I... You, we've had this conversation. So you saying, yo, go to court, right? At, so let's just say- if, 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 if that was the case, I'm saying like- some, some people don't have lawyer fees. Sounds like a bullshit excuse, dog. Some niggas be 100, 200, 300 grand in lawyer fees for a, a result that you may not know is coming your way. At, some people will take your child and move away. I know women that have taken dudes' children and True. moved across the country. True. You, you, it's just, Some people it's, have warrants so they can't show face in the court. That is true. Too. Some people mm -hmm. have a jacket to where the girl is now telling them, play with me if you want. Yeah. You know what that jacket yeah. looks like? We're going to go in there and I'm going to tell them that. I'm going to tell them. It's just a lot of different I'm telling you obstacles. sold drugs over in the Bronx. Yeah. I'm telling you killed that nigga over there in Brooklyn. Play with me if you want to go in there. It's, it's a lot of different like, obstacles. It, get, that, it that does get place. tricky. Okay. It and you does just get hope tricky. That. I just had this conversation with somebody last week. They was like, oh, man, I'm going through with my baby mom. She told me I'm getting a fucking mediator. I'm not doing no fucking mediator. That shit don't help. I said, I, I, I. Do not be so fast to dismiss the mediator. The mediator. I encourage you, if you have the money, Get the mediator. I've gone through it with about three or four of them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you go to court, the judge will send you to the side room with the mediator. Mm -hmm. Y'all go talk for a few hours mm -hmm. and stop playing with me in this court. Mm -hmm. I think y'all can fix this yourself. It has to be two open-minded adults. Both people have to, one, put the child first. And in a lot of these instances, they don't, bro. The contempt, the disdain, the bitterness, all of that shit prevents amicable resolutions with the child's best interest at heart. See, but now the mediator, though, ain't, ain't speaking for none of y'all parents. Nope. The mediator's speaking for the best interest mm -hmm. of the child. I don't really care about none what of happened when y'all was fucking and yeah. all of that. That's not, mm -hmm. that's not my play. And some of them are really, really good. Mm. Some of them are able to go in there and come back with an option that you didn't think would be on the table. But both now are, this is if well, that's two people if be mediation to, oh, I, is, gotta, I get both I gotta be yeah. willing to do that. Okay. But I mean, shit today they got them little they got them little apps. Y'all yeah. know the little apps where now the judge is looking at all of your communication, yeah. talking they, parents. Yeah, all that shit they suggest. I wasn't doing that shit. I'm like, dog, no, we gonna beef. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep the beef going a little while <laughs> before I want to say some things to you that I don't want that person to see that you be talking crazy. <laughs> I ain't signed up for that one. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we'll work it out on the side. <laughs> That's foolish. What the fuck is you talking about? Can you imagine that? I've used the app before, but then we stopped. But I've used it in the beginning. I've used it. They've recommended it. I never used it. Because what it does is it, 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 it kind of like you say, it keep you, you know, hey, somebody can see this, so I'm a. All right, then they going to see. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, moving, <laughs> moving right along, moving right along, I'm we're moving and go. grooving, moving and grooving. God, Why you want to get at us for our YK Osiris shit? I just felt like y'all ain't say shit. What was we supposed to say? None. None, honey. <laughs> Fuck you talking. I'm so glad that the, that the young lady accepted his apology and didn't she did. press charges yeah, like yeah. Mel wanted. Yeah, I'm very thankful. I wish we would see more of that. Clap it up for her. Clap, clap it up for her. You survived. It was a horrible moment. No, horrible. Nobody was injured. Nobody was hurt. Like, well, physically, brutally. Physically. Yeah, physically. Like. I do have a question, though. 
I do have one question. I, I meant to ask. I meant to ask. She's this. such a great rebounder. No, no, no I'm sorry. I, no, I have. <laughs> That's the thing. I, no, I'm sorry. Like Javel, Javel 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 on, I have a very real question for the room. Okay, because Ish, you said he deserves to get his ass beat. That was what you'd said. I did. Okay, and what I should have asked at the time was, okay, street justice, fine. Fuck a charge. Fuck the criminal justice system because yes, it definitely. Um, treats black men unfairly, disproportionately, et cetera. Fully agree. Who is the administer of street justice? Who's doing that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, who's, who's getting involved? Because that was literally my question, is who's the purveyor of that? Brothers, when, when a situation cousins, like that I, happens. I addressed it. I said, um, uh, the quote-unquote OGs, the quote-unquote old heads that people are looking up to um, for guidance for whatever the case may be needs to also take the role of the disciplinarian mm -hmm. and um, none of them it, As, it, and that's what I'm saying like where where are they that, not, that's not true especially for him that's not true okay but um because Meek's tweets were basically like, oh, he's a good kid, leave him alone, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's just like, okay, so he's not going to be the one. Well, no, that's not true. Because disciplinary action don't always have to result in you getting your ass whipped. Meek could be, could be. Mm -hmm. I don't know Meek. I've never met Meek. Meek could be the ideal person to discipline him. Meek yeah. could be the ideal person to say, dog, I was on this road that you're going down. Mm -hmm. Bring your little ass over here and chill out for a minute. Let me holler at you about some things. Because, mm -hmm. again, some things came... Um, Information became privy to us off mic throughout the weekend mm -hmm. with that topic. So I would have addressed it a little different last week had I known some of that. Got it. Okay. Russell, Russell Simmons sues ex-wife Kamora Lee for fraud and allegedly stealing stocks to pay her new husband's bail fees. From Vanity Fair, 2021. Lee is currently married to Tim Lesnar, who pleaded guilty to money laundering in 2018. I remember that. nearly $44 million to avoid jail time. We talked about that on the pod. And shit like this is why, outside of uh, Russell Simmons' alleged criminal activity, mm. but shit like that is why I never like coming on a podcast speaking about what's going on with a domestic issue. No, we mm -hmm. talked about that particular thing on a pod two summers ago. We talked about that issue, and that's the thing I said. I don't care about what happens with Kamora Lee Simmons and Russell Simmons. I don't give a fuck about what's going on. When I saw his daughter in tears, that was the thing that moved me. I don't give a fuck about them because they could be lying, both of them. Mm. When your daughter is sitting there and your daughter is in distress, I didn't take that daughter's cry tears for, for, for drama. Maybe I could be wrong, but I didn't look at it like it was performative. Okay, this is the happy hour now. We <laughs> we got it. That's a fast break. Oh, God damn. You brought the shit back up. All right. Another news, please. So there's a a, a a tourist vessel, a little submarine. Oh, I like this already. Holds about five people at a time, mm -hmm. and it takes them down to view the Titanic wreckage. Mm -hmm. They lost it. They lost what? The, the, submarine. the, submarine. the submarine. The people. With people in it. With the people on it. They lost contact with they it. They pay a quarter million dollars to go down there. Yeah. Uh, it's not the It's controlled seats. by an Xbox controller. <laughs> They got pipes and they're just like PVC pipes that mm -hmm. they bought at Home Depot. It's real small. It's small of like the size of like a. Uh, it's like twenty one feet. Twenty one feet. Yep. Mm -hmm. But it's like only three people can fit in there plus the driver or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they say they got ni ninety six hours of emergency air in total. Case, and total. they're at and they're at hour sixty. Yeah. That was. And no one knows where they are. And, and they don't no know one knows where they are. Can I ask a question that is not really important to what I will ultimately think about this? Please. <laughs> They white people. Walk I, yo, no, I was gonna say, I, yo, you yes. took the what you word think? out of my mouth. Where what this fuck conversation? Do you think it was passed? You think well, we get on boats people. and shit again? <laughs> yo, that's funny. Oh man, <laughs> that's funny. What the what? fuck is wrong with rich white people, yo? <laughs> they do whatever. They bro. just gotta do yeah. some shit that nobody else did. First yo, of all, like the, very, the premise. The, let's just start with the premise. A ship sank <laughs> right here <laughs> that we haven't been able to get. They, they took for a million years for them to get down to, no, the, to look find at. it first. Yeah. They couldn't even find the shit. But a ship sank. Yeah, right here. Right here. Right there. Right there. 
Let's go right back to that spot where the ship sank. Let's go look at the sh- the, just to look at it. Yeah. For I thought the white giggles. people was crazy for going to see the uh, steps in the Bronx that the Joker was filming. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why y'all like shit like that? Why y'all? That's y'all. I can't do it with these yo, whites. Bro, I, I can't speak for these whites. They were punching the head over there in the Bronx. They were wrong. Different types y'all white asses out of O Block. The fuck is that? Ocean. Dog. I knew it was some white rich people. I knew it. That's still that was still the Bronx. I remember that shit. Two fifty. How long is the trip? <laughs> Eight hours to get down there. Mm-hmm. And then I guess however long you drive around down there. You're in the vessel for eight a hours. A British businessman and explorer, a British father and son from a prominent uh, Pakistani family, and a French maritime expert are among the five person crew of the Titan. Look at this fucking Titan shit. <laughs> this shit look like a bottle of toothpaste. Shit in a, a walk in closet. <laughs> a crew of five people, including blah, 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 blah. It lost contact with the support ship during a dive to the Titanic wreckage site in the North Atlantic on Sunday. Here are the passengers. Listen, here are the passengers. <laughs> hey, Michelle Obama had to put up a sign saying, bring back our girls. Y'all still gave us <laughs> your ass to kiss. <laughs> 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 I ain't forget all the times white people gave us their ass to kiss in recent years. Oh, fucking Flint went without good water for fucking, they still probably ain't got that. Still got water. And y'all in the Marine, in the submarine looking at for the Titanic wreckage. Man, if you don't get... For, for, <laughs> for a million dollars I ain't doing it to just white people Don't play with me I was on Amazon Prime all night Watching fucking happy shiny people About the Duggar family mm. Not familiar The with Duggar that. family That white the ones on White TLC. Christian family On TLC That had 19 kids mm. Yeah I got us I know we'll How far into that did you get? I'm mean, episode three mm. I've seen enough <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Seen enough to know what's going on Your white people got weird Bro, get in a submarine where you're on top of each other. There's they show the toilet. It's just like uh, it's like a bedpan. Ew. So they're all just shitting in the bedpan together or whatever. No, where? (laughs) 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 Just be here down with you. Like somebody has some saran wrap or something. (laughs) Somebody, somebody, somebody came up. Somebody put some bullshit together. No, they came went up down, too. my friend. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Well, we the talk about the, We talk about the person that orchestrated it. That uh, didn't come up. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? The ones that didn't come up, yeah. The, the person that orchestrated it, he came up. He's up there like, okay, we lost contact. You know Y'all what I'm saying? keep playing around in that water. Yo, I was just about to say, nigga, I seen too many movies, Leviathan and all them shits with the glowing oh, orchids cool. and squids. I'm mm-hmm. good. Yeah, it's big just, ass. Did they just report that the Netflix crew was out somewhere trying to film some shit? Them. Yeah, and the sharks, fam. They said we know more about space than we do about the ocean. And the sharks, I'm about, good, my nigga. I saw a little. The sharks came and said, "What's, what's, what's popping, dude?" <laughs> shark, what yo, 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 where you from, yo? Yeah, what you claim? What you claim? <laughs> what you claim? Yo, what's that? What's that? What's that you throwing up? Yeah, let me get that Damn, on. Son. <laughs> Ate the next. That's the other reason I couldn't be no uh, fucking street nigga. I'm denouncing my gang when it's convenient for me. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I know that that's in the contract. <laughs> I know that that's in the gang contract that's that you can't do that. Contract. Nah, we just died. But you that can't. would be a negotiable we just, point. <laughs> we just heard somebody that we know denounced the gang to a judge, mm-hmm. and look what happened. Yeah. End up getting cut. It comes with a lot of shit when you denounce the gang. Well, slow down. If I denounce the gang at the right time, I ain't gonna be in there with them. <laughs> I'm not gonna be in there with them at all. I'm gonna be at home denouncing. <laughs> oh, so you denounce them before you go to jail? No, that you might have been. You can't be, be in there with them. And that might have been his route to getting home. Of course, that was the route. I think, home. but I'm a civilian. I think that the, the gang niggas should see that play and be like, "Oh, all right, Respect. my man trying to get home." No, <laughs> they don't look at it like that. No, no they don't. You, you gang to the Death. And that's why I can't do it. I'm cool. I need, Ti- I need to be better incentivized. Yo, everybody, PSA, leave the Titanic alone. It's 4,000 miles below they water. Been trying to, in that's like Utah. Utah. They, <laughs> it's from here listen, to Utah. They've been, underwater. They've been planning since that's the funny. 80s to try to bring it up. They decided not to. They even wanted to create a bubble force around it. They left it alone because of all the deterioration and it's going to fall apart. Don't go down there. If the white people ain't bringing it up, white people, if you're not bringing it up, bring that shit up. We want to see it up, nigga. Put it in the museum somewhere. Fam, I Arkansas. seen the movie. I'm cool. I don't no, want to see, see it, see it up. Nigga. I'm straight. Bring I'm... it up. Y'all found all that jewelry and shit. Oh, jewelry. Oh, bring up the Titanic. <laughs> J- Jack don't Martin. send us down there. Not us. Don't send y'all niggas down there. Thank you. Jack was goofy, man. Who was goofy? He Jack, said Jack, Jack was his man. I said Jack, Jack was not goofy. Jack was fire. Yeah, okay. 
Oh, you would have pushed. You would have pushed yeah. Rose in the water. I just met you. <laughs> oh shit! I just met you. Shit. It ain't the connection shit. ain't that deep. You would have pushed in the water. Oh, get off the boat. Get off the little door. Ice front. I, nigga, I just met her today. He didn't just. She put it on. It was nigga. She gave me a week, and we know what you do in a week. I'm a survive too, my nigga. I ain't <laughs> yeah. gonna die for yeah. the pussy in a week, uh, right. nigga. What you doing? Right. Cuffy Combs, are oh, you pushing Rose in the water? Rose, get your ass off. Yo, Rose, Rose. Oh, are you gonna figure it out? No, I'm gonna give me another boat raft. Load another Because he died, right? And she was sad. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what happened. <laughs> I'm asking you. Yeah. As, as she held it, let him go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yeah, nigga okay. sat in the water. So nah, you gotta come with me, Shorty. Sure. We going together, me. or I'm, oh, I'm sad. They both couldn't sit on that shit because they were No, no either exactly. we both die together, or I live. Pick. What? I'm not fam. I still ain't been on a cruise. <laughs> not going to either. Nah, I'm, I'm cruising. I would shit. like to Fuck go on a cruise. cruise. That's shit, shit scary. Nah, I go on one of them to so just go like right out there and shit a little bit. <laughs> right <laughs> out the shore. I can swim home I can if see, I need I, to. I, I can see the yeah, buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, guys, y'all are and it was a bucking. teenager. There was a teenager at the school. Not at the school, but during like senior, a senior. You saw jumped, that, right? Yeah, that jumped into the water. Yeah. And he's gone. He's dead. The he, sharks was right there and killed him. He jumped into the water and they sent one of the um like the the buoys out there yeah. to go get him and he swam away from it. But he jumped in the water on a dare. In the night. His, his, at night. His body, his choice. Well, they can't find that said body. Mm-hmm. It is gone. Orcas got him. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yo, the orcas is on y'all ass too. Facts. Yo. Yeah. He was white, yes. He was yeah. white, yes, yes. Niggas he not was jumping white. in the water. We don't have to ask. Ta- <laughs> have Some to shit ask. you just know. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you hear it, oh yeah, that's, that's y'all. Yo, blacks is claustrophobic. I'm not sitting in no walk-in closet going down 4,000 miles to look at a boat and then come right back. I'm cool. I be wanting to go on the ship sometime, but that shit too scary. What if they can argue with me and push me in a water? Like, what if we get to, like, what about, like, I don't want to play around with ships. Cru- I do want to cru- go on a cruise, cruise though. Ships, nah, like, I must I admit, go cruise ships. I heard the food be on, they be good. Amazing. No, I'm, I'm telling cool. you, cruise ships. They got the Disney every cruise. Every time, every time that the thing about cruises, the worst case scenario be really bad. bad. Crazy. Like yes. anytime I seen a fight break out, it was the whole lunchroom. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't just a few niggas. Fact. It was the left side of the lunchroom versus the right side. Boat was doing this. <laughs> and now you just getting it on. Gotta, we saw what happened with COVID. Stay, Don't let there be yo. some new little bug going around. Now the mm-hmm. whole shit yo, got it. <laughs> gotta stay away from Carnival, that's why. Carnival's the hood. What's the good one? Carnival. Princess. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta let him say it. And they say, what's the good one? Oh, y'all extra coon today. I don't know. I'm just di- right. trying to tell you. Let me you go, take it out let of me go get too. something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go. Yeah. Some, <laughs> some coon punch. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Raccoon punch. Oh, man. Uh, y'all want to talk to me about Michael Jordan selling his stake in the team, allegedly? Three billion dollars. Well, no, not allegedly. He did. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah. He bought it for... I think it was 180, 180, something like that. Can't be 180 million? Yeah. 13 years ago. 3.3. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Nice. (laughs) And he still stays on, I think, as a minority um, percentage owner. Okay. And then J. Cole stepped in and bought it, right? He did hit. J. Cole and someone else came in and bought it. I don't know what it's the whole 3 billion worth, but. Oh, a small percentage. Minority. Salute. You got to start somewhere, damn it. Salute. Hell yeah. Niggas clown hove when he had that little piece of a percent of the nets. Salute. How many of y'all on? What percent y'all on? That's why I said everybody who was knocking that. Oh, it's only this cool. What percent you but on? But you notice that niggas give it up when they team ain't doing. <laughs> How was the Hornets doing? Not, not very good. Okay. All right. Here's another perspective. It's whoever. Yep. Okay, so actually Jordan makes $400 million a year from Jordan brand, blah, blah, blah. I can see math is not everybody's strong suit, so I'm going to help you guys out. Michael Jordan, his Forbes evaluation is $2.1 billion. If he was making $400 million a year from selling Nikes, outside of all his other investments, he would be worth a hell of a lot more than $2.1 billion. His evaluation took a hit when the Hornets lost their evaluation. Please understand what I'm saying. The vast majority of Michael Jordan's net worth is actually the ownership of the Hornets. And that goes for a ton of other billionaires, Jerry Jones, whoever. So let's just say Michael Jordan owns 66% of the Hornets, for easy math. That's two thirds of the Hornets. They're selling for three billion, he's getting two billion, right? So two billion worth, plus the 100 million from Nike, that's 2.1 billion, that's his evaluation. Now enough of that math, let's get real. 
Two years ago, he made a terrible investment with Gabe Plotkin. By the way, that's a minority owner who's buying the damn Hornets. So he told Gabe, yo, go ahead and bet 500 million of my money, I got you. It was like a verbal IOU. And Plotkin went and put a ton of money into the stock market, somewhere around 4 billion, and they lost. But instead of going to Jordan and saying, give me that 500 million, Plotkin said, I don't got it. I don't have the 4 billion I just bet. So then this man right here, Ken Griffin from Citadel, worth 32 billion, the richest man in Chicago, bailed them out. So Griffin gives Plotkin about $4 billion. None of this is a secret. This was about eight months after their bad bet. He buys them out and covers their ass. But then he wants his money. He's here to collect. So Plotkin owes him. So now Plotkin pays him. But now Jordan owes Plotkin. It's a little, it's a trickle down effect. And Jordan don't got the money. Jordan made a bad bet. So he's got to sell his team to cover the bet. So he's selling to the guy he owes the money to. He's selling to his bookie. Now here's the thing. Plotkin used to work for Griffin. These are two multi-billionaires from Chicago, and they just fleeced Jordan out of ownership. And they're taking his team from him. Jordan just lost his seat at the big kids table. He can go make his millions with Nike, and you guys can say what you want. But this is a man who got into a world he couldn't keep up in. The world of billionaires. And he lost out, and he's out of the game. Wow. Now what do you think? <laughs> Shit. If that's true. I had a similar conversation with somebody about that on Friday. Um, he priced. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys, yo. I love it. It's fine. They don't, they don't stop. Yo. Dog, I, that's a tough game. That's a tough game. I'm, 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 if this is true. If, it's a if big, this is it's true. A big boys game. You had the big boy table now. Mm -hmm. All of that slick shit you used to do in the casino with the gambling. But again, he still, he still, if he paid 180 for the team, they said he, he lost 500 mil. He's still up. No, at, at no point did anybody say yeah, he wasn't up. He's, still he's Michael up. Jordan. He's still a billionaire. Your name is up. Mm -hmm. Right. But what a move. Hey, man. Go swimming with the sharks, nigga. You might get mm. bit. Mm. Sheesh. They're great whites. <laughs> Ice, you heard uh, Tory new song? No, I did not. Hurts didn't me. Know he dropped the record. I just saw it and found it. I haven't heard it. You got it? Play it. No, because it's not on iTunes, but I heard it. Oh. It sounds like some alone, alone at prom. Is it the shit that um the, the Jenner chick was playing on her? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, when, when y'all tried to bully uh the Jenner uh the Jenner girl. Kylie. Mean ass mean ass fucking black girls. <laughs> she in the car playing Tory. <laughs> the black girls don't play. <laughs> and she can't sit in the car and play Tory. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. That, just read the room, I guess. I don't know. Read what room? There's a lot of people that don't believe that bullshit. <laughs> you going to force somebody into believing something? That's a good one. She clearly is in support of Tory. That is mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. They was in my house. I seen a little more than y'all. I might know a little bit I'm more. rocking with him. I'm supporting him through this. Good you niggas going to out fucking, they're going to shame somebody out of getting support. I don't get that. And then Tori puts out this long shit. I don't get that. Thanking the fan, y'all. I want to thank y'all. There's a lot going on. I got new music. I got new merch. I got new everything coming. And then the next day, his ex-lawyer just miraculously puts out the clip saying, I told him not to blame Kelsey. Mm-hmm. More high stakes games, mm -hmm. more more big money games mm -hmm. above my pay grade. The never ending court battle. Yeah, Boy, we're never gonna hear that end of this shit. Yeah, what? Not at all. No, I don't got the song. That's right. What What did you say you ain't get? If that's her way of support, just playing the music in the background on a video. Yeah, that's, that's support. That's I'm, I'm, I'm independent and I'm dropping a song a in two days. Yeah, dog, I'm a billionaire. And with Kylie a Jenner is playing it in the background. And she Are has, you shitting me? Like, I'm, I, I'm potentially and that's the same on. girl that I was trying to fuck that night that y'all was acting crazy that in night. here that I didn't get around to fucking because you pulled me out of here. I ain't even talking about that. Ice. She has I'm a back to that. She has a billion dollar brand. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm staying there. So the fact that I'm willing to risk some damage to my billion my billion dollar brand. Right. That's support. I guess I looked at it differently. Yeah, okay. that's definitely support. Okay. In my opinion. I'm just looking at it. if you want to support or like you said, I got some more information. I don't believe this. Then say that. Someone, nah, with, someone with 395 million, million followers. followers on Instagram playing your music in any context is a fucking that is support. She don't have to that's, say a thing. Just okay. facts. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm, I'm and, open to being wrong And I may not that. fuck with you that much where I got to publicly come out, but yeah, that's, that's enough. Yeah, yeah. That's enough from most people to get a start. People be speaking in code. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. 
I seen that. I was like, like all right, <laughs> she, she calling y'all fave line ass bitch. <laughs> That's what she was saying. I ain't saying. I'm with you. All right, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm on your team. Fuck. Can't ever come by this pool again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. You'll never smell this <laughs> chlorine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, when, when niggas really want a piece of pussy, they will stay in touch for years, boy. <laughs> you thought he was about to lose that connect? I'll they will play down. the games, huh? I'll walk you down. He was not leaving. Yeah. He was losing that one. He had to spend the block. Y'all know I'm going away, but that I, I, little here's my, connection we here's had. my address. It was, it, it was you. It was, it was, <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> you I wanted. It was worth it for you. I wanted yeah. you. I did all that shit because of you. Here's my address. <laughs> Mail me sometime. <laughs> they oh. hate it. All right, what else is important? I've seen him in the pool. Uh, they got mm -hmm. Andrew Tate indicting him. All right. They are. What? That's it? Yeah, I ain't that's got it. Shit. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. Cool on Andrew Tate. I don't. Yeah, I ain't my. Yeah, okay. Okay. I ain't my man. There's <laughs> a lot of creepy business going on. <laughs> For real. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A, lot of, what you a lot of this news is <laughs> horny <laughs> shit. Yeah. That's <laughs> some crazy ass news. These niggas will not relax that horny. It's the summertime, too. Hot outside and windy. There's a lot of shit going on out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot and windy outside. This weather's fucked up. About. It's some crazy shit going on. Oh this guy's a fool, yo. <laughs> yo, niggas is crazy. <laughs> no, no, crazy. Niggas. No, I niggas. Guess, yeah. niggas. Niggas is crazy, yo. That nigga is crazy, son. Something wrong with what the have. fuck? Yeah. How do you get away with that? That shit old. Oh. Dang. Bro, the, ah, fu the, the fucked up ah. part is the background singers had to start harmonizing. <laughs> <with them>. like, <laughs> it is a race. What, word. what a job. So are you sure? Um, <clears throat> so I want us to go back to this uh, Starbucks. You remember the case in Starbucks where the two black dudes were being profiled in the Yeah, air called the cops mm -hmm. on them. Yeah, called the cops on the black dudes. In 2018, two black men were racially profiled and arrested at Starbucks. The two decided not to sue Starbucks and settled in court for one dollar. The white manager who called the police on them was fired and decided to sue Starbucks and just won $25 million. What? Because she was white, she said. She I got fired for white. being white. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. And she won? And she and won. And she won. That yeah. said a crazy president. The word. Reverse, <sighs> reverse justice. What do y'all think? You didn't get fired well, for being white. It's disgusting. Yeah, can, you got I fired can, for being no, racist. No, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Is, is it disgusting? Or we got to blame the two guys that chose to take the moral standpoint one, and not sue? One no. thing has nothing to do with the other. It does. Flip it took a pot off and, and went to the library, it, read an encyclopedia. He did something. It does, though, yeah. <laughs> he, he is them studious them today. Them <laughs> niggas can't. Let's say they sue well, Starbucks. do we blame? Let's, let's say they sue, sue Starbucks yeah. and got their own $50 million. Yeah. She got mm -hmm. sued and she sued Starbucks. She could have won her own $25 million. The two cases are exclusive. No, it's no, not one. No, no, it's not. But they, they're making comparisons to the case. They're showing. So why don't they say the lady that got fired from Starbucks? She got twenty five million. They're not doing it. They're they're telling the story they're of the two black it's men. The same incident. Yeah, yeah they but tell they're not comparing. Story. But listen, they're case. telling the story of the two black men that settled out of court for a dollar, and the lady that mistreated them won twenty five million. But the um, I don't even think the amount is necessarily the. The, the, fact the fact that she and sued won and won is the mm -hmm. issue. Yeah. They don't have nothing to the do with the show. Why are they putting the story? Why? Okay, because so that's just part okay. of it. They're giving this context. Yeah. The context is I important. don't think that that's the issue that she sued and won. I think the issue is that they didn't sue. Exactly. Right, yeah. That's not my issue. That's the issue. Yeah, that's why, why not? Well, what's your issue? My issue is the fact that you... If she was wrongfully terminated, she should be compensated. She should. Right. She should be compensated, whether whatever color. Who said she was wrongfully terminated? Right. The court. Okay. What happened was there you go. And that, her. That incident happened. How did you and get then twenty-five the, million? Out and then the Starbucks CEO shut down like eight thousand locations, and then they went through this whole sensitivity and bias training. training. Oh, yes, yes. And then once they, that happened, I got a case. Once I see y'all change the whole. Uh, Protocol. Uh, it's an admission yeah. of guilt on behalf of yeah. the corporation. I got you. Yeah, policy we and got protocol it. change. But it's not because you're white, though. That's the part that got me. I feel like it's... Because her statement, I'm, I'm reading here, I was terminated because I am white. If I was black, I would not have been terminated. Yeah, if you was black, you it, wouldn't have called the cops on two black boys sitting in Starbucks minding their fucking business. So you're and color, the, mere, the mere fact that y'all can discuss this means that there's a case. That there's a case. Yeah. You are yeah. correct. And if I was black... 
maybe this incident doesn't go this way and me calling the cops on two black men is not viewed it as won't a, be racial, a racial issue and mm-hmm. we won't have to shut down 9,000 stores mm-hmm. and so forth yeah, and so on. True, true. The two events are related. My, my only beef is with the dudes. I'm not mad at her. I, I'm mad at Anybody niggas. here that's wrongfully terminated, if you have a case and you win, right on. Mm. Right on for that. I'm not making this one about race. But why the black dudes decided to go this route is beyond me. So not so such thing as too yeah. much race. You fucking right. Because they took that. They were trying whole, to t- that the, whole Michelle the, Obama. When we they go, go low, we, we go, go high. high. I could have gotten high quote. with yeah. that shit twelve million dollars. But this is part of going high. And it, part of going high is is, is I'm it suing even, you. It ain't even about the money. It's the you know that, the that's principle, what, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's about the principle. For Did them. they get free coffee for, for for the rest of their lives? I don't. I, 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 I would have been a principal. Oh, no, I'm suing. I'll just be clear. I'm not, I'm not, as, as soon as they trained, like, like Joe said, as soon as they did the sensitivity training, they shut it down. It's an admission of guilt. Yep. Yeah. It's an admission of guilt on behalf of the corporation. Whoever her lawyer was, we got him. That's true. We fucking got him. They know who to do it to, boy. I go to Starbucks for bi-weekly trying to get <laughs> kicked out with some Lock shit. Lock me up. <laughs> I try to order some shit they don't know about. Or, you can't trick them niggas. No, no you can't. That's the secret. 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 Chick-fil-A. the secret. That's 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 I Uber Eats. Yeah, Chick Fil A wow. niggas. They very Chick-fil-A, nice. They remember you, especially they, if you sit in there and they eat. say a prayer hey, for you and anything with Chick Fil A. You know, what's so crazy. The line be long and they still be nice. Mm-hmm. Hurry the fuck up! You come. Up, hey, I'm sorry about that. I got your order. Line so long. <laughs> they outside at the drive-through with an iPad. Yes. So they can do four cars at once. Yes. Oh shit! I oh, that's it. how it's like at um, In and Out. In, in LA. Yeah. No, but the food is actually good. Chick Fil A. Come on, that's man. the only difference that's though. Glory. That's a food show right on. I didn't tell you all about a real humbling. Poverty-ish experience oh, that I had man, over the weekend. We go, Tell us about it. With my son. What happened? I was feeling good off of all that Father's Day hype. She came out with a balloon on Friday, Saturday, whatever fucking day it was. It was a nice day out. I didn't really feel like going in the house right away with my baby. Let's go out. I looked at her and said, You hungry? I said, I'm hungry. Let's eat. <laughs> it's lit. It's daddy time. Like, hey, we're going to eat. But let me not bring my five-year-old to fucking Cipriani's or fucking nowhere fancy. Let's find a place that's kid-friendly that I can sit at the bar, give me a virgin pina colada. My baby can get his food and all will be well. I was on the phone with somebody. I was like, you know what? I'm feeling like I'm going to first run over to Fridays. <laughs> Person kicked my fucking back in. Joe. <laughs> They act like I said I was going to the Oodle and Noodle restaurant or some shit. <laughs> Yo, you can't go to Fridays. Shit, can't you on you up? You can't do that. I said, I'm trying to have a humbling experience. I'm not trying to do nothing crazy. I'm just trying to do something kid friendly. Some shit from Bandit just said, whatever you do, don't go to Fridays. I said, ah! Hi, police. It's a fucking Outback Steakhouse. Mm. Ah. Right there. Talking about And language. maybe, you know what, now that you say that, Maybe Outback Steakhouse is a small step up from Fridays, but I never felt like that. <laughs> I thought I had them against the ropes. I was like, I'm going to go to Friday. They got the Jack Daniels. It's like, they don't have it anymore. It's called, it's called whiskey something. They don't have the Jack Daniels they lost, anymore. They lost the Jack deal? No, it's With, called whiskey it's something. It's called some other bullshit. But if you ain't got the Jack like Daniels. Like said. They got the old granddad now? We lost the wild the turkey. <laughs> I open up Google to see if Outback Steakhouse is open. I remember it only open at four o'clock. What do you know? It's open one o'clock early. They just opened at noon. Pull right up. Hop out, me and my baby. Ain't nobody else thinking about eating fucking steakhouse at this time. It's completely empty. From white people at the bar, chilling. I walk in there. There's a non-black person there, ready to greet black people. Mistake number one. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like another white couple there waiting. I said, hey, table for two, please. Don't have a reservation. She's like, all right. We're a little understaffed right now. Give me about 10 minutes and just wait. And I said, just wait where? And she said, just anywhere. Just linger. She's pointing outside. She (laughs) She said, just linger. Shoe fly. Shoe fly. So I look at my son, who's just still ecstatic. And I got to hold it down. We just go sit down. And then we sitting there. And then we sitting there. And then we sitting there. How long am I supposed to keep my cool in the outback? 
Ten minutes. Ten yeah. minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. Fifteen is grace period. No. Mm -hmm. Eat, not even ten minutes, but I'm going to let you rock. I get up. I have a face of... Disgust. D dis discouragement. She says, all right, we're ready to seat you. Thank you. And then she walks all the way down to like a whole nother Put section. Put you in great of adventures. Of Outback Steakhouse. They treat me like there's an Outback <laughs> Steakhouse. Get your dusty ass down there. So walk Are you sure it wasn't the VIP room or something? Um, they said, I know y'all laughing. No, no, no. I've, I've, I knew what you was going to say. I don't remember Outback being so fucking poor and poverty-ish <laughs> and down rotten. And projecty. <laughs> she walk all the way down there. I walk halfway. I make a U turn. She see I'm not behind her now. Now I start acting like Karen. <laughs> Dog, I'm not sitting down there, and I'm not waiting no more. It's an empty spot now. I'm, I'm sitting. Find me somewhere close with a fucking staffer, a hostess, or somebody. So finally, this white hostess comes out. She's so she, she see I'm frustrated. She's like, you want to just sit right here? It's the first booth right by the shit which you told me to. Yes, lady. Yes. <laughs> sit down there. Look at the menu. They got all this shit. I order a steak. They bring out the worst piece of fucking. It's had to be the worst cow. <laughs> this is the worst cow ever. Meatless. I'm sitting there eating this shit. My kid is having a blast. And I'm in my head stuck <laughs> saying, yo, did I used to fall for the marketing of Outback Steakhouse? Yes. yes. It's true. No, you didn't. Yes, no, I did. You didn't. What happened? Now, Did now, the recession hit them bad? No. Quarantine, pandemic? Nigga, when Did you they was lose 20, money? you never tasted Wagyu before. So now the steak hits different. Yeah. Nigga, we wasn't 20 at that steakhouse. Even at 30. The only thing still rocking is the potato soup. And then they shrunk that. <laughs> <laughs> she say bowl or cup. I know y'all don't care. Fuck y'all. She say bowl or cup. cup. I'm hungry as hell. Bowl. Bowl. He bring out the smallest <laughs> little... I said, oh, shit, time to change. Uh, time to change. I fucking threw the food on the floor. <laughs> what? Got up, got me the fuck out of here, man. Get me the fuck out of this fucking... This, this is disgusting. You'll never see me again in here. I must have fell for... Who was their mascot? A British guy or some shit? <laughs> ah, I was like, on yeah, whoever it was, nah. I'm off that, dog. Mm. And I'm off for all the little eatery places that only got 17 year olds working there. It's tell tell me something about. Mm -hmm. Tell me a lot. True, nigga. All but nigga. that's everywhere. I couldn't wait yeah, to come I'm in here and say. kick out back fucking steakhouse back in <laughs> over Fridays. Are you shit? Never, never, never out back over Fridays. Uh, so now, if they, are you gonna get the person fired if they reach out? Cause you know they don't like that. No, they, I'm not oh. getting nobody fired. But they won't ever see me or my family again while I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> what did they reach out to you, Joe? Like, yo, that no. shit was desolate, yo. We apologize to you, Joe. We would like to send you to an exclusive outback. It must have been bad if the white people stopped going. <laughs> oh, shit. It, was one of there it wasn't the even bar, enough said, white people in there. You said they were just at the bar. That shit was a fucking mess. Wow. Lobster was dry. It yeah. was, it's disgusting. Yeah. 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 You got Last lobster I, from Albert? Yo, fam, I wish I could have sued them. <laughs> you was, for what? You kind of deserve that one, man. Huh? You ordered a lobster from Outback, bro. Nigga, hold on. Let me ask y'all a question. You, I don't, I don't you know what you're talking about. In my relationships that I've been over here, that lobster and steak combo from Outback over the years, What's always, that? it never dropped the ball back in the day. And you shouldn't really fuck up lobster. It's not the most complicated thing in the world to cook. Mm, or steak, up, really. You could, you could fuck both of them up You can, badly. but that's, ba that's like ahead, low level. You could overboil the lobster. You can, the, oof, last that's, time I saw a steak from Outback, it was gray. I was like, ugh. fuck this, never again. I have a question after the ish. Can yeah, I ish. your question? Is there a question for you? Have you been to the Outback since the Joe Button, since I'll name this podcast later? Oh, no. This is my first time. <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da. So he, his He's, tastes have become champ yo, champagne back in, tastes. Back in the ES days, that was cool. I don't even think you was in there. I wasn't in there for every Escalade. <laughs> I said the ES. Oh, oh I thought everything. The Lexus ES. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that shit used to be a slap a little nigga. bit. We, nigga. But wait, and mind you, I went down a YouTube rabbit hole the same thing early that me. morning where I follow all these food foodie niggas. So some of them are restaurants. Hey, here top 10 restaurants in New York. So it got to some shit called Rolos in Queens. Mm -hmm. And it's a YouTube page. You been there? No. It's like a famous spot in Queens. 
Rolos, they showing you the shit from the butcher, how it come in, yeah, how they yeah. chop it, how they cut it, how they dry age this, freeze this. This sauce been sitting here for three months marinating. Like the service was, you can't take me to that, to Outback Steakhouse. Because <laughs> now I want to know where everybody, who, who everybody's butcher is. Nigga, if I'm ordering a steak somewhere, I want to know the butcher. I have a question. They don't know the butcher. Hey, that shit coming frozen on the truck. Well, that's the problem. I have a okay. question for you guys. What? That Outback come in a box. Yeah. Pre sealed. What? Vacuum sealed. Vacuum yeah. sealed. Yeah. Yeah. It's the about? exact shit like McDonald's. They when need, Cisco uh, took that thing. But what yeah. restaurant did you guys like that fell off like that? Like me, Olive Garden. I, I used about to, like to say Olive Garden. Oh, I used to like that. Well, Olive Garden is still a little lit if oh, you go in there. What? Where? Don't look at me because I'm rolling with Olive Garden. Don't even look this way. I'm rolling Dog, with Olive Garden. Olive Garden still good? To me, yeah, nigga. Well, you've been a bum. I used but. to work at an Olive Garden. <laughs> See? You used to work there? I used to work at an Olive Garden. That shit was fire when I was younger, I son. Got, how, I, how much are you talking about, like in a video? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know you was in the Alicia Keys video. You worked in a diner, I'm right? I played like I that for You worked in a yeah, diner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. <laughs> you was giving a salad out? <laughs> no, we, yeah. No. That's oh, all that was an Olive Garden shit you shot that at? When I was like, no, no, no. It's a Queens. No, that was a diner in, in Harlem. I was, uh, uh, this is when I was like, you know, in high school and shit like that. I got so fat. Okay. I gained so much weight working okay, let's at Olive Garden. When you was in high school, you was dating and fucking men in high school? <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop, man. Yeah, my boyfriend. Yo, I hit, I hit you with my hat. Don't go there. Your boyfriend was older? No, my, my boyfriend in high school was age appropriate. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. What'd that mean? Meaning he was like... He was a, a, he was, he in was high school too? Yes, he was a year older yes. than oh, okay. me. Where you went to high school yeah. where? In Toronto. What, when year did you get to... America. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. America. You want you want to know it's so funny. You want to know what my uh, my anniversary is of the day I landed in New York. She about to stun on us. September 11th. Oh, shit. It's the day that oh, Secret man. Garden no, was no, no, written no, no, no. by Quincy Jones. 2000. 2000. <laughs> The year before the towers mm. came down, that was my exact no, anniversary. Had, well, yeah, this just having a little. Uh, I mean, because it was like, what the fuck? It was like no, a what the fuck be, moment. Okay. Yeah, well, you just, that shit yeah, is she's such a great rebounder. Huh? That's the problem. No. That's the problem. She slapped that shit off the floor yeah. and just go. <laughs> <laughs> what the she is? God damn. Mel. But I loved being here so much. Everybody from Canada, they were calling me. They're like, "Are you coming home now?" I was like, "They're gonna have to bomb my fucking house. I'm not." Yo, leaving. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, Mel. Yo. 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 Hey, yo. Mute up. It's good. It's cool. We got it. Moving right along. So the Starbucks I love got it. I don't even know. Kids was I'm, fucked up. Yeah. It's wrong. Yeah. He still brought with Olive Gardens. I'm yeah. So I've been told y'all that. Oh, you are? Yeah. No, nah, I didn't know. It was the bread, the marinara. That shit was hitting when I was like a teenager, 17, Little tour 18. Italy. I'm, yeah, I'm you know, all that. And I never ate that red. That's pasta. still good. Is no. my point about Olive, the tour, the tour to Italy? That it's shit with the four star, the, the, the meat, the paws, but yeah. come over, bring this so big olive, bowl of salad. That, bread, that, that salad at Olive Garden, Garden stop it, yo. When the last time you ate at Olive, you can't say that, Joe. Olive Garden has not nah, been good in years. I, dog, you Fam, I've ate at Olive Garden this year. No, last year. And it was year. good? Last year. You should change, but. I haven't last eaten year. Olive Garden in 20 years, my nigga. Me either. And I've been condemning it for 20 yeah, years. Yeah, but you don't eat that. I haven't eaten. No, I don't know it was good with niggas. The only good thing in Olive Garden is the salad and the breadsticks. Olive Garden Ooh, wasn't a thing. That fucking <laughs> tour of Italy, that fucking. That shit is good. That lasagna. That, that, right. that lasagna. Frozen good, yeah. lasagna that they warm up. <laughs> nigga, shit, you might that's like saying. Now, nah, you know what really fucked me up with our TV dinner stove was when I found out Cheesecake Factory don't make their cheesecakes. What? Get delivered. I didn't See, know that though, fam. You think See, Olive Garden uh, make the tour of uh, Italy? That I don't was cheesecake, but that just gave me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> you think Olive Garden making the tour of Italy? Y'all so stupid. That shit, nah, that fucked me shit, up. Come on, so hold on, real quick. Are the cheddar, cheddar biscuits at Red Lobster still good? The niggas still going Jack and them nasty nah, shits? I, I fuck with them. I'm not going. I don't eat cheddar. I don't eat cheddar. You ain't got to go to the. They Fam, sell them shit in the supermarket order, now. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'll order you those. You still go to Red Lobster ish? I'm no, I'm not sitting in the Red Lobster. I'll order them shits on the phone oh, and pick up the biscuits. Yes, there's no there. I promise just you. Just the I'm biscuits? Just you get the, the seaside biscuits. shrimp to y'all? I don't eat Admiral's seafood. Feast? I don't eat seafood. You take your Jamaican workers to Red Lobsters? <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> Let's check this nigga. Joe never did it to niggas, nigga. You foul, I son. Even walk I got a 30 cheddar biscuits for y'all niggas. Let's get it. I was mad that Friendly's came to an end, but that was my Queen's Hempstead bag. Friendly. Friendly's as a kid. They not over? Yeah, nah. They still out? They still in Jersey? Nigga, you Stop. went to the shit in Queens. That's serious. serious. You went to Bronx. Wait, hold on. You it's went so to Bronx good. BBQs in Queens, too, didn't you? Yes, I did. Oh, oh nine. Green Acres. Yeah. I went to the one in Queens. I went to BBQs before. everywhere. I went to the one in Queens yeah. before. You went to all BBQs? What? Yeah. 
I trust the brand of BBQs. Nigga, wow, BBQ. that's something big to say. Yo, really? Third when we was Nigga, in high school, a famous, BBQs was famous. Like, I take my fuck? famous ass with a girl holding hands to 42nd Street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> BBQs? BBQ. No, upstairs, please. Uh, BBQ take me upstairs, like, VIP. Uh, uh, BBQ you know still lit? And see some of your old uh, work in there that's broke struggling still. Uh, yeah. You shitting me? No. <laughs> now we Back should go then, to BBQs, BBQs was and, drug and, dealer central. BBQs is where she get extra. Hey, come here. Come here. If you want and hunting and drunk with a cheap. You they get got the, the big what? Texas size <laughs> joint. That blue drink? What about the sticky wings? shit? Know people, what people, 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 people yes. I don't know yes. what that is. I don't, I don't know about the food. I know you the get sticky the sticky wings. If she got two of them big drinks, mm. But hold up. It was up. See, that was ringside. Look, look at you trying to trap somebody. Look at you trying to trap somebody. I got to ask you a question too, Joe. Nick. Everybody talking about the sugar factory drinks is the best. Nobody eat the food there. Like, So some places are only known for the drinks. The sugar fact that they they, they trash that shit. The they said food the is disgusting. Niggas only going for the ambiance and the in the some women. places we just going to get these drinks. Facts. It's a spot that we it. all went to. The food is disgusting. Most to me, of them but chain the restaurants. The ambiance is popping. What's what? No, sometimes the ambiance. Cool. No, there's a spot in Jersey City that I go to now for the drinks, and I don't even hang out in Jersey City no more. Mm. But ringside is ringside. But the drinks, this, you, nigga, this, this nigga's, nigga's different. Bum this bum. nigga's different. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, this I don't forget, I don't forget like where, where I came from. Do you have your passport? Where I came from? <laughs> Did you get your shot? I don't forget where I came from, dog. Some spots you supposed to forget. I don't forget where I came from, dog. I love you, ringside. This nigga is a bum. Where you at, Ice? You in America, nigga? Stop. On the ringside, nigga. Them big ass buckets to go. They gonna get you. No, I just go in and out. Grab it to go. Grab it to go. Grab it to go. Well, that's y'all. That's too good to go to. I never stepped foot in the I, ringside. Never. You still go to chicken spots and shit on the. He don't. He don't. Chicken what? You don't go to Crown Fried and them shit later night. Yeah, I'm what? 47 years old. Yeah, where do you go to eat? Yeah. A bunch of places. I don't be. Going right, give to us, give us some examples. Late night, Crown Fried is Wawa. only open. Late Wendy. night, I'm going to eat Wawa. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's a shit. I'll eat Wendy's before I eat Crown Fried Chicken. Really? Yeah, he's he's crazy. Never answer a question. Give he us some spots. Me, late night, where would I go where get some to eat? Halal card. Sit down that's my answer. and eat. Oh, sit. Like Halal restaurants and shit. Yes. Halal card. Yes. Um, what's the last few places I've been? Uh, <laughs> it's cool, yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the it's halal card. Shit, I'm not eating. I'm with Parks. Or the deli. I'm not I'm fuck not with the halal cart late. None of that. Halal on sure. oh, 56? No, nigga. I'm oh, in Jersey. Communal ball. Long ass line, nigga. On 50, yeah, Communal ball. Oh, okay. The hood. There's a halal cart on 6th Avenue at like 49th Street. Yeah. The line was yeah, down the about. fucking block. Mm. Yeah, that's block. what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> at the ABC shit. <laughs> <laughs> 50 years of hip hop, 50 people yeah. on 49th Street for the halal truck. Streaming now on Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> and ABC. If that wasn't enough, though, yesterday I'm looking at my phone. She done yeah, clipped up us on Patreon Talk about the ABC. She put on Instagram, long caption. I'm like, yo, dog, I'm not part of your I ad. didn't do that. Yeah, you the I, only one that posted it. Nah, nigga, they got they got another one with her. It got Angie with the glasses on, Jewel Ambrose with the outfits. Uh, that, 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 that was mine. Uh, that was that mine. One. That was not mine. That was in the group chat. I don't know what you talking about. It has Chirons and everything. All the fancy shit that they do and post over here. That, that was not that It might was, have been a Joe Button pod. Clip. It was a Joe Button pod. It might have been a Joe Button pod. Oh, the pod held you down. Yeah. Mm. Thank you guys. Shout out to you go. Thank Shout you. Out to the team. editing staff. Y'all. Yeah. What do you know? Melissa Ford. Page. Here it is. Going it to is air. On my Special. Page. That's what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? But it was. It's, it's in. Pod. It's from the pod. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's nice. Um. That. Yo, you didn't tell us what you think about the whole Casanova thing. You just brought it up kind of in passing, but I, I think that's kind of important. Shout out to Cass. Hopefully, everything is all right. That's my man. Um, I hope he's good. Story is that Cass um, denounced being a blood member and he got cut in jail. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunate, unfortunate. Mm -hmm. My man trying to, you know, come home and, you know, the, the savages decide to bring you back down to the gutter. Then I heard that he was, you know, allegedly he was on top of the person, you know, letting them have it as well. Luis or Luis or some shit yeah. like that. Giving him a, a couple of buck 90s, not even the 50s. You know what I'm saying? So... I, it's unfortunate for me. That's actually what I think. I don't like it. Didn't sound no. like that, then. <laughs> you know what I'm huh? saying? Yeah, he was on top of that. Nigga. Getting that nigga. Getting that nigga. Listen, listen, listen. 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 List
Nigga, a nigga cut you and you able to get your get back instantly? I love it. I love it, nigga. You got him. You got him back. Tell me the things that are off limits when two men are fighting for you. Oh, for y'all. All y'all. This is, I'm not, I'm grabbing off me. If you, over. I'm not. If I'm two not men are over. fighting, if you grab me, that's off limits. Don't touch me. Wait, grab you. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> grab you where? No, my hand. No, 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 not a grab. No. This nigga sounds like a complete imbecile. Yo, you know the, 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 the fighting, you think I give a fuck no, about he said, the rules are? He said when two people are, what's off, you talking about if they fighting each other or you talking about we outsiders? Fight. Yes. We fighting. No, me and no, you me are fighting. Oh, oh, my fault. I thought I was going to What is yeah, off like, limits? What, oh, this is what, nothing's off limits. I'm poking your eye, I'm biting your face, nigga. I'm eating your face. So biting, biting is in play for you I'm not grabbing no nigga dick. I was hey, about to ask. I, 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 I was about even, to ask. Even, is, right. is that was that aggressive. Sometimes you might have to. I'm going to keep it up. Oh. <laughs> if, a nigga choke, if a nigga choke you out, you <laughs> might have to grab his you dick. You might have to. Yeah, he's got you. It's like a pit bull. That's where you get him to get lucky. We having a real freak conversation. Freak ass boy. Two different type of fight. <laughs> Parks, you have a little freaky <laughs> fighter. <laughs> if a nigga choke you... Wait, hold on. It's different fighting, yo. Like, certain fight... Like... If you fight when a nigga really trying to harm you, harm you, then it's a different Anything goes. You mean like a fight? No, because every fight, you're not doing that. I seen a nigga fight, knock you down, yeah. and, and, and back off, yeah. or let you get up. I Are seen you that. down with biting in the fight? Well, his teeth is lo- his weak, so he can't bite. <laughs> 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 Do you have your back? <laughs> Did you get your shots? <laughs> Lord, that little implant gonna come out. <laughs> you better be uh, careful. <laughs> nah, I, yeah, I ain't really with the bite. Shit. No, I'm I biting, nigga. No biting the fight. Some niggas Kicking. when they yeah, That's right, it's Kicking. Kick. your leg can still get up. Stomped out, all up. <laughs> Your legs. You I down with Biden? I ain't never Biden. I'm down to try to win. Yeah. So you down with anything? I, I, I want to win and get up. You'll kick head. somebody in the dick? Yes. You'll <laughs> yeah. grab that shit? If I have to, get off me. Yeah. You have to grab the shit, if right? I, if I have to, yeah. Yeah. I yep. seen a video yep. of a nigga fall. He said, he got my dick. Yeah, yeah, he nigga. got my yep. dick. Yep. You yep. trying? Yep. You trying? Yep. 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 I seen that before. That shit, nigga, yeah, got grabbing my dick. He's screaming. That nigga was screaming, yo. That nigga like, yeah. That nigga got my dick, yo. So that's off me, nigga. I'm not grabbing yeah. no nigga dick, bro. It gotta be life or death. I'm not grabbing no nigga dick. What I don't like in a fight is when a nigga kicks somebody in the head, they down, and they go back and kick them again. But you would to grab another dick, but not with the stop. If a nigga, head. Cho- hold on, wait. You can, listen. If a nigga's choking me out, I, nigga, I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing stars, nigga. He's and I look, dick. To, I look to my left, and the nigga all wrecked his legs open. <laughs> How he choking you out with his dick right in front of you? What no, you? on the side. How he choking you from the side? Oh, he niggas could. Cho- he could. When they on could. the floor, yeah, like. <laughs> I'm, I'm turning around, nigga. Yeah, I'm turning around. My father told me, man, moves. Nigga, you got to get their pinky and all that, bend it. But sometimes <laughs> you don't be thinking that quick. <laughs> Fucking Jamaican. <laughs> Y'all are freaks. Yeah, I'm not. Um, the doctor, the surgeon from Jackie O's. And, and wait a minute. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Big Poke. Oh yeah, yeah, rest in peace. peace. Yes, yes. Rest, rest in, in peace. peace. I don't like to put that video out all willy nilly like that. Him collapsing? Yeah, yeah. That video was gonna go out if somebody I was know, there. But if somebody's recording, and yeah, unfortunately. Was like, you all right? This. <laughs> I know y'all trying to punish a nigga, but can y'all open the vent? <laughs> I took, a, I took a couple of paws over. Open the vent. <laughs> that didn't do shit. Like, this shit is fucked up. It's hot. This nigga got on a full sweatsuit in the summer. I'm talking about sweat. It's hot. It's, just, it's so hot. hot. He the light skin is this way. I'm, I'm dying, is son. It, is it working, though? <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear it blowing. I'm trying to go like this and bend. No, I'm saying, is the no air trick working on you? It like, is. The last time you uh, had air. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hey, yo. Yo, last time, last time the Joe Budden Network gave you some air. Oh, <laughs> no. Why this shit coming over here? <laughs> nah, it do look closed though. Oh, for real. Like it do look closed. Cool. I didn't close that as some you type of punishment. Some, yo, I didn't do. We got. I know punch. you think that sound like some Joe Budden <laughs> shit, right? Hey, I'm gonna close the bed. Oh man. No, we gonna get to. We gonna fix it. I'll stand on the chair and fix it. Uh, Please so, don't, my yeah. nigga. <laughs> You my man. Yo, you my man. Oh, shit. Yo, oh. Yo, <laughs> yo, look, nobody's helping him either. Melissa, that's not helping. <laughs> this. That's <laughs> going to make it worse. Well, <laughs> all right, well, I have a pod to do. I'll do, do this when we are. His short ass arm. Five five yo, come on. Six. Get back down. Get back down. Come on. Fuck get back. It's okay. You you five, oh, six. oh, yeah. Pause. Let's help him. All right, we good. I don't remember what I was trying to talk about before this. He got his air now. We good. I feel better. I feel better. I feel better. Over here having hot flashes and shit. I did. I did. 
And it's not that was an only issue. I have an issue with you too. You know what I'm saying? You see, stop talking about your trip. Uh, you was on I, don't, I, I haven't talked about it. I was in my crib sad. You was on live, nigga, with, with Julio and Jesus and them. Like, yo, they just bought me a drink. He tried to get me drunk. You sure I got I got the shit saved, nigga. I screen recorded it. We, did, we, we, we was doing that shot. The niggas was trying to get you drunk. No, nigga. You was, <laughs> you, you was home sad while you was turning up. I knew it was your up. birthday. You know I was sad. No, I know why you was sad. But you know we ain't talking about it here. We haven't talked about that yeah. no more. We talked we talk about it. But he, I get it because he was but mad at me. you was sad he he was and mad. he was out on vacation. Yeah. Letting niggas, I still uh, none of niggas kid, bro. Motorboat him, with, yeah. Uh, take him to shit. BBQ or oh, drive the boat. <laughs> nah, let the motor. You was this crazy. You was dancing like, you was, you was dancing like this, you know? <laughs> Hey, yo, the nigga Ice was doing this in the, in the pool. I, yeah, he was. I, I, I said, Ice, right, what the fuck are you that doing? That nigga was in the pool doing the chicken noodle he soup. He was lit. <laughs> yes. What, what you, are you not supposed to be lit on vacation? And then you, you introduce your lady to the camera. So what? I, I didn't know that. I thought she was hidden. I thought you was on this nigga's no, shit. What on vacation? Oh, We're hidden. My, Whoa. I thought you was on this shit, nigga. Whoa. My girl you was have always, to stay hidden forever. No, 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 no. My girl was always hidden in plain sight. Oh, salute. I ain't know. Uh, it was different. It was different. That's like that whole, was, I wasn't hiding my kid from the world. I was hiding my the world from my kid. I see what you did there. Hidden in plain sight. Yeah. If you look, you're right there. I'm not broadcasting. Hey, look. But you just look. I see right what you said. I got you. I got you. I'm, not, I'm never hiding. I was just surprised, man. Your behavior was very Niggas different. was pouring shots in your mouth, boss? No. <laughs> Did they no, buy you a drink? No, you no. said this nigga tried inclusive. to get me drunk. Nobody buy nothing. Hey, yo, hold on, Freeze. You said this man tried to get me drunk. Because they were saying, yo, keep sending them shots. Send them shots. It's his birthday. So they were sending a bunch of shots over. So telling they, the bartender, yo. So they bought it for you. No, nigga, when you add an all-inclusive, nobody pays for nothing. It's all the drinks are included. Oh, my mm. fault. Oh. No, that, that, that's cheap I'm shit. I'm sure it's a poor no. shit. That's, that's cheap shit. <laughs> yeah, no, you ain't. I'm not stunting. Yeah. I'm really not stunting. Yeah. I promise really you. Really not. All and Melissa. Wait, and Wait, I'm not stunting. Yo, you I though. I promise you that. Why is this nigga always looking Because y'all are the two elitists. No, yo, he's oh, looking wait, at all me. Why do you think oh, Melissa's man. not an elitist? Wait, all She's inclusive. an elitist. Wait, all I wasn't even thinking about her. All yeah, inclusive. but she the one talking about, yeah, all, all inclusive is great. <laughs> wait, all <laughs> inclusive is cheap? Yeah. That's not, that's like, that's like the Outback Steakhouse. Oh. Is that like the buffet? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, okay. I, yeah. I never went to All, all inclusive, inclusive yet. Yeah, All I was, Inclusive. I was planning on going to Inclusive is some, that's some why, bullshit. They that's why you some. don't want your, not talking about ice no more, but that's why you don't want your girl to buy you the trip. <laughs> Cause, Cause she gonna get the all inclusive. They're including the pop off vodka. Y'all crazy as uh, shit. It's all if it was that or sit my ass at home. I'm gonna take that. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 no, of course. We, we, <laughs> yes, we wasn't talking about you. No, I'm more. just saying. God like, damn. Wait, was y'all tipping the people? Look, at the end, look, 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 look. I ain't got no cash on me. At the end, you tip them. I'm not. There's Wait, nothing so you, to tip. There's there's no tip jar. There's none of that. No, they get, they bring you a little paper. No, they no they don't. I'm telling yeah, you, they no, didn't they bring don't. you. They you didn't, you didn't have no cash. I had cash in my in the safe in the room. All inclusive. They didn't have cash at. No, only person I had cash at was um, uh, when I first got there in the airport. There was some somebody that had some had a cash app thing up. That was it. But you like the service? I love the service. I had a butler. This nigga was all he oh, took shit. care of him when we left. Uh, Salute. That's yeah. Because our villa came with a butler, so whatever we needed, he, mm -hmm. he's texting me mm -hmm. all okay. seven in the morning mm -hmm. on the wake up. Yo, okay, shit. which I want to do today? Do you need this? Do you need this? I'll go get this. Mm -hmm. I'll go get that. Like a it, butler. He was, okay. he was the truth. Yeah, Not Gerard. Came, <laughs> came up. He was the truth. Yeah. Right, so, so for the record, all inclusive is broke man shit. Not saying him because it's my man. I just, because I, 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 I had a plan to go to some all inclusive shit. Man, but go. I, you dude, should I'm go. Not, do it. I'm not there's going levels. To, I don't. <laughs> tell me the high level of all inclusive shit. There's levels. Tell me the, the rich all inclusive shit. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not. There's no such thing. If it yeah, says all no inclusive, I'm not going. <laughs> so where do you go? You just, you just rent some shit and you do everything. Do you hire an outside source to come in well, and that's make the things? Thing. In yes. You don't tell people like you. <laughs> Why? Because then you'll come there. <laughs> or try to. You try to save up. <laughs> you try, oh, 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 try, try to come do You try to come do a skit. Leave your skits in Queens. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, ish. Oh, who said the Panorama Resort was the best resort? You was in bad as shit. Like, oh, yeah, no, we good. Uh, forget, forget, forget where you at, dog. I don't even know why y'all do it. Just stay, keep going. Uh, so that means you had the Uber Eats and shit? Nah, you had the, the <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> I'm just saying. The I'm Uber Eats. If it, the rich nigga shit, if it's not all of you, are you going? To all right, we have a guest here who's rich. All right, my fault. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah we have a guest here who's shot, rich. Are you shocked? He's, not, he's, he's not really a guest. Oh, yeah, this nigga's not a guest. Let me play some, play some this intro shit for This is my man right here. Not too much on our guest. This is my man right here. Oh, man. been blown away by Crabtree's hands. And his ability to suck in these balls. 
Tyrell Williams. He beats Cox. Yeah, somebody's going to get that gobbler at the end of this game, too. Josh yeah. Bynes has been coming all night long, but then he pulls out, and, and it's just hard. It's been a while since he's seen a hole that big. Diggs gets a much-needed blow. He's a thick wide receiver who is powerful from the waist down. <laughs> you have to like when there's a guy coming right in your face and he just sits in there oh and delivers it. Uh, Yo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, none other than Zaire! Nah, that's my man right no, there, yo. Now I gotta, now I gotta, now I gotta pull up on nonsense. Board. This is my man don't right there. Don't disrespect our hand like that, bro. <laughs> that's wild, bro. Don't do that, bro. Nah, yo, somebody oh, put this little man. clip together of the wild announcers. They be wild. They be wild. And I never thought about it until the announcers are just like kind of flagrant when y'all play. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, though, but why you play that on my intro, though, when I walk <laughs> in? I ain't got nothing to do with that. Not at all. They are talking about it's just some football shit. Strong lowers and, and wild. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. The whole. Yeah, man. Zay, I miss you, man. What's up, I miss man? you. It's good to see you. I appreciate it, man. Welcome I back. It work, I feel like work. I'm like y'all second cousin. You know what I'm saying? I just visit during the summer. You know what oh, I mean? Shit. Nothing too crazy. Nah, I, I was looking at the fucking, uh, trying to see when preseason starts. I'm like, is we going to see this nigga before uh, it's time to get to work or not? I saw when you posted, you posted your football picture. I was like, oh, that's the side of Zaire I've never seen. <laughs> Whoa. He looked pretty mean. I think he was like, no, he was looking great about that time, man. My dog Ish, man, you looking slimmer, man. I wanted to say that. Hey, uh, shout out to gang, man. Yeah, no, nah, it's true. Bullshit, bro, don't come in here, bro. Nah, 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 you know we, we talked about something, man. That's true. I tell you My took man. it. You feel me? You took to it serious, step, man. Nah, yo, nah, we, you, know you did lose weight. What you yeah, down about twenty now, right, Ish? Twenty two. Anyway, bro. Okay. Damn. Fuck they talking about? He probably an ex now. Just one. Yeah. Lose weight. You bite. My fault, gang. Yeah, we you know black men, y'all. We don't Indeed. do compliment. Oh, damn. Yeah, my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was 2023. My fault, gang. Mm -hmm. All right, sure, for sure. Four, seven. What, what's yeah, good with you, man? How, how you doing? I just wanted you to come on so we could see how you're doing, what you're up to. What's up with man, the OTAs good, and man. shit, man? Yeah, OT, fresh out of OTAs. But it's, it's about that lock-in season. You know what I'm saying? About time to check in at home before I, you know, I go into the training camp. Training camp mode, lock-in. You know what I'm saying? About time to cut up. Got my little workout in this morning, so... Before I really lock in, I figured I'd pull up on the gang and say how y'all boys was doing. Yeah, I, I appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate them lazy, appreciate of course. That. Thank you. I appreciate that. What, uh, is there anything that, like, you said checking back home before I really get locked in, is there anything that's on your list of things I got to get done at home before I could even get focused on this? I ain't going to hold you. I had me an off season, so it's about time. I, like, all, I did You've been outside. Yeah, yeah I've been. Like, I ain't want to bring you, you and Zion. I saw my man. You saw Zion's just not keeping it P. He got keep you gotta keep your shorty in check. Don't do that. He just got, you know what I'm saying? He's not carrying it the right way. That's all that is. He ain't keeping it P at all. <laughs> she's still going too. Bro. I know. That's bad yeah. ball, bro. She yeah. said she's gonna release the tape the if he's not yeah. traded. If she had a, if, if it was that bad, she would already drop him though, huh? No. No, she got no. it. No. She sounds like somebody's she got advising a long somebody game advising plan. her, yeah. Yeah, she, Somebody advising her on the extortion? So. How to Dog, do it? She just trying to put that nigga on OnlyFans and looking for a reason. <laughs> think so? Zion on OnlyFans yeah. OD. That's bad boy. Nah, if I got Zion in my phone, you going up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now hold up. She says she's not going to release him unless he gets traded? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he's gonna get traded. Uh oh, she got a team in so mind. So wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> she a GM? Is she a, she, she a might want to let. Are we sure? Are we, with this information, are we sure that this is? Um, That's a good one. She's going off the yeah, head yeah, with yeah. this. She don't know what you're talking about, but he is getting traded. But do you is think this that maybe, is this collusion? Is this collusion? I'm trying to say. <laughs> they say he's tweeting off her account now. They say he's tweeting off her account now. They say he's tweeting off her account now. He's trying to direct direct traffic from the you know what I'm saying from the third party. Trying to go to New That'd be crazy. crazy. To That's the biggest <laughs> scandal in NBA history down there, right? Forget NFL scandals. Send that nigga right to New York. Why do you keep saying that? That's where he wants to go. Who cares? Nigga, he would... That nigga, nigga has no. played 36% <laughs> like, of basketball no. games since 2019, 2020. Stop it saying that. They would that nigga. So like, <laughs> Rose heard the fucking shit we talked about on here, and she was not too pleased. And I told her yesterday on the phone, like, you got to accept it, bro. They would terrorize him. You never had no more Zion. <laughs> <laughs> Tad, I can say her name because she, she wrote me. No, salute. 
If he would have met a tatted up Holly, I just, when I said TH, she would have tore that nigga life apart. It'd have been tatted up Zion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that nigga would have been in the Bronx building Lamborghinis. <laughs> with shit, cut the eyes on, nigga. He better not go nowhere he near better, tatted nah, up Holly or, or nothing else tatted up. Yeah, yeah, yeah talk about the joke leave at Holly all. Leave her alone, alone bro. That nigga, boy. Sheesh. I told Rose, like, I'm not trying to joke. Don't let it. Hopefully, it'll come, they're going to tear him up. <laughs> <laughs> is there a speech that you give the young boys on your team to make sure that they avoid like these types of you know I mean the tricks and the, the tricks and the tricksters well you know when Zion uh, situation job I, I felt like I made it a point to talk to the young fellas and just let them know like if she's willing to put her full vagina butthole package on the internet she will definitely post y'all screenshots for sure so sure. just keep that in mind when you send it something but that sound like common sense but that ain't that common so like yeah. if shorty got the only fan she busting it open for twitter i mean when it come down for that cash she's going to post y'all screenshots she's going to tell your girl she's going to do all that so just you know what i'm saying keep it playing when you're dealing with the women what do the what do the athletes think when they see the other athletes like fucking a girl that ain't got nothing to lose the, the worst i you know the reason why i really think she keep going because she another nba player gonna scoop her that's the problem bro i think she got it already yeah i believe it too that, she, she marked so it yeah she marked it'd be right so now. bad they'd be one they'd be oh i'll I treat her right out there it's, it's well just, yo i want to see what making this dumb nigga Mm -hmm. Nut up. Let me go see what. Now let me not let me not disrespect Shorty too crazy. I do believe that she can make that nigga's toes toes curl up. I do believe that she has that little power. She might yeah. better than the nigga was crying. Yeah, she done did bro. Some, yeah he cried. She said that. the nigga. Zion, Zion seemed like he ain't had that much. Though. You see, yeah. see his fits and yeah. all that. <laughs> That's yeah. what I said. I'm the wrong Goku nigga to say it. But, oh, oh, my God. That's a bad my fault, yeah, man. My fault, my fault. Yo, Zion, both got names is Z. Stop. Hey, look, Flip, hold me accountable. My hold fault, him man. down, son. Right, my fault. Yeah, hold right. me accountable. Hold him down, Z, because he, sure. he needs your help. <laughs> Send that nigga a DM or text or something. Give him some advice. He needs your help, bro. What's up? You had fun in Vegas? I yeah. did, did you? You know what I'm saying? You know, you my man. I, I checked asked. in. You know, you know. I was looking. I said, Joe. I look, but I told him we was. I said, Joe, we can be at that fight. Look, it's gonna be that. He said, Nah. So you on that young nigga shit? You know, you man. I'm on my. I got on my different wave. I'm going to see Usher. Da 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 da. I'm like, All right, look. But it was a movie out there, Brody. But I heard y'all hope. Is Shorty doing okay? She doing better. <laughs> 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 nah, Checking on show. I just want to make sure she okay. Cause she got sick that night, man. Okay, <laughs> for sure, for man. sure. You heard the pod? Yeah, I, I did. I did. Oh it was a movie out there, though, for sure. You would have definitely loved to partake, but uh, there'll be other opportunities. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming to Super Bowl in Vegas mm -hmm. again. Oh, so you, are you going again? Couple, a uh, couple, couple trips. I keep or? trying to get mm -hmm. these bum it. I'm, I'm just asking. Are you going? Yeah. I'm saying you bringing your girls. That a girl is a couple's trip. That's again? a good question. I know you try to be funny, but that's a good question. <laughs> how can I? How can I do that? Do you want to bring your girls to Super Bowl? Not, Super Bowl. Not that there's anything wrong with bringing your girls to Super Bowl. I don't want to say that you can bring. Send our friends Super somewhere. Are you, you bringing got it. If we in the Super Bowl, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. That boy good. All right. Good. How about if not? That boy how about if you're not? That boy good. That boy good. <laughs> if you're not in the Super Bowl. Well, then I'd be go out there for work. So technically, you know what I mean. I had to move around. It probably wouldn't be that much, you know, one on one time. Uh, Theoretically, uh, yeah. you know, so really no boy in different yeah. circles. Like I don't you know. want to leave you in the room. I'm right, out here working right. precisely. Yeah, I don't right. know what time. That's I'm getting why off. exactly. I fuck with him. Might so, be a ten hour day. <laughs> and too much of this pod is predicated on joking on me. So <laughs> we were talking about getting a booth at Super Bowl, like chipping That's in sweet. our money so yeah. we get the little sweet joint. That's oh. what. Mm. That's, that's what we was talking about. So I want to ask y'all, <laughs> if we do that, is anybody else bringing their girl to Super Bowl? I know it's laughing Joe time, but let's just get some no. answers. No, I told y'all before, no, this is work. This it's is not work. work. I did not say that. We, this is, yes. we no, it is work. work. No, it is work. Yeah. The, the pod's going out there. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You, you going to get that off too? You saying? Yeah. You and about? you and you. I'll probably bring mine. So I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. but that's the thing, right? I enjoy hanging out with my, my girls. Too. I love hanging out we with We have but fun. But we we laugh. Like hanging with our girls, though. Exactly. Like, okay, so let me word it different. I like hanging with my girl more than niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because if we go to suit, the only reason I would not be trying to bring my girl, and I might not bring my girl, so let's not get crazy. But then I'm going to be out. I'm going to want to fuck some. I know me. Then I'm going to have to court, act like I, or catch a little straggle or cheat even. 
I can't imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Why you ain't looking at this? Because it's stupid ass, stupid face. I'm just looking at you talk. Why the guy haven't said two words? But I don't know. Oh, See, they just be sitting here lying. I don't Yo, know. What? I don't know. Because y'all, y'all are like... Alpha men, right? Mm. <laughs> Y'all talk like real alpha men. Potter, like, oh, yeah. I can't even see how I would position that to my, yo, I'm going to head out to Super Bowl. It's in Vegas. We got a booth, me and my guys. It's for work purposes. We got to cover it different. And I'm going to stay out a couple extra days, do some networking, mingle. Well, see, what else do you need right there? there? That's not going to fly. That's, that's not, <laughs> that's not, that's not, that's not listen, fly. Listen, no, you, 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 you get that flying. Get that athlete privilege the uh, fuck out of That's not flying with bro, me. Flying. Joe, you are a media personality. You're going out to the biggest media uh, event of the year internationally. It's going to be all kind of booths, all kind of, you know what I'm saying, different movies. You got to be in different, press, different press little pass, sets. Press yeah, Vegas this. It's, it's Vegas. Everything. I think F1 going to be out oh, there at the same time. I know you don't care about it, but you know what I'm saying? No, no, I do care about it. Oh, that's crazy. Don't do that. I ain't inviting for you if you're calling them. Hello? Yo. Yo, how you doing? You good? I'm, I'm on air. I'm talking as I hear. What you doing? What you doing in February? <laughs> Probably that last. What you doing in February? The first week. Like the first first week of February. February. Hmm? The first week of February. Yeah. I don't know. Why? What are we doing? Oh shit! See, they go. Mm. You don't surprise. really like the Super Bowl like that, right? You like football. Yeah, it's yeah, you know, my son plays football, and I'm a big football fan. You know that, why? Some work shit had just came up. First week of mm-hmm. February, me and all of them. Oh, this is when you said you was trying to go to Vegas. I'm not trying to go. Roger Goodell did that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Roger Goodell oh, no. put the Super Bowl in Vegas. Right. But a bunch of us were going. You know I mean, chip in, get the money together, get a booth out there, probably get a suite, turn up. Just the guys. No turn up, no turn up. Do some work. Wait, 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 wait. All right, it's not, not no turn up, but just all work. Football shit, networking. It won't Me- be very much Me- Media mogul stuff. In, in the suite. All right, well, I'll get a suite from me and my girls next to y'all so you can have your guy time. And oh, I have my girl. That actually be oh, hell bad. Yeah, it's fire. <laughs> oh wow! wow. What, what a what a curveball. <laughs> that was better than I thought. <laughs> I'll, ta- I'll take I'm, that. You shitting me? I'm using, I'm using your I'm using your gold card though. <laughs> Might even take that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Oh no! Well, let's talk about it later, yo. I got to think about that, but okay. we'll we'll see what's going on. Okay. All right, bye. 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 Hey man, see, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, man, I'll, man, I'll, I'll take that. A good job. I'll pay for you and whoever to go away. Like, <laughs> right next to your suite, nigga. No more. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, the, the real nigga gonna have two sweet books at you. Yo, you know how many times? Yo, I, I was the man back in the day. I'd have a room on the ninth floor, <laughs> a room on the fifth floor. <laughs> I get busy over here. Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> you running the night. <laughs> I remember one time a little white girl had the night. She wasn't there when I went up there. I said, oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> then she went and got a room. <laughs> in the same month. Now I gotta go to her. Yo, where you at, yo? Come on. I'm not telling you. You left me in here. <laughs> yo, come on, yo. <laughs> now I'm just banging on the door in the hallway. It's a mess. <laughs> it get tricky. It get tricky. I'll be in Vegas, buddy. Even if these guys don't go to Vegas, I'll be in Vegas. Good for you. And it'll be different than last time I was in Vegas. Okay, we mark it down. Oh, look, I'm looking forward to it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking forward to a Joe excursion. It'll be a good time. It's coming. It's Even coming. Even better if y'all make the big dance. We definitely will. Young boy there. He ready to block and load. Defense led. Hi. Best running back in the league. Period. Stamp it. And my well, man, I must have paid. a good little Stand OTA. Me. And I came here for hate. And I told JT, I'm Yo, just letting Derek you know. Henry came over here, though? Uh, watch your mouth. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Watch your mouth. You, you always doing that with him, too, bro. You be painting narratives, bro. See, Yo, this is what he be talking Yo, about. <laughs> This oh, yeah, 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 I ain't know y'all picked him up in the um, offseason. Bro, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Jonathan uh, Taylor, uh, JT. Got you. Don't do that jersey. Big jersey. Come on, where the jersey at, man? Justin Timberlake. Queens, my nigga. Oh, no, let him, jersey, let him, let him pick crazy. his teammates. Like, that's important. I'm saying, that's my man. Oh, of course. That's a fly. Is. I'm sorry. So you confident in Jonathan Taylor? Where should he be drafted in fantasy first round? I don't do fantasy, so I don't know the politics that's of true. that, but as high as possible. That's true. 
Uh, it's possible. I don't, right. I don't do the policy. I, I, I know he let you down uh, last year. You get what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? It's a new year, new season. I told you I'm back no, popping my like, shit. The season over with. It sound like it. It like that. sound like it. I'm back popping my shit. What you think the young boy going to do? That Minnesota game. <laughs> Minnesota who? That shit over with. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> that was last season, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. They don't How you got Dalvin no more. Uh, you don't got to see that monster on the other side of the ball. Who? Dalvin Cook. I saw him, though. Oh. Uh. I was looking for him. Oh. Oops. There you go. There you go. Respe- there you go. I've told. I told. Why? I, look, I'm not gonna come I, I, here. We and say know, bro. Like, we okay. know. We know. We okay. know. Take a second to speak highly of your quarter of your quarterback. Who young AR? Yeah, he one of them. He gonna be that. Is he starting? To say. Is he gonna be starting game one? Uh, I mean, yeah. To be determined, most likely. Wait, who y'all back honest, up? But, huh? Who y'all back Minshew up? Uh, Gardner Minshew, yeah. don't do that. Oh, that's my man. He's nice. Yeah. I like him. Nah, I like him. He was cool as hell. I ain't gonna hold you. Real LA vibe, hippie vibe, long hair. With the jorts, that's my man. He nah, cool he, though. <laughs> with the jorts, <laughs> he do. That's my man though. He's a gunslinger too. He like was slinging. Yeah, word. He wasn't. He wasn't no mutt. Mm-hmm. He was slinging that shit. He wasn't. He was throwing the football. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Far. Okay, for sure. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I told you all about uh, Summer Walker and Meech, right? The little shit they went through with the girl. Mm. But the, just like Mariah is still going, this girl is still going too. She says she got a track, a diss track coming soon. Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> she in the Who's studio? she dissing? Oh, you got to stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Spring fever, nigga. Mm. I don't name, think she want this summer. Summer be getting niggas out of there on her tracks, though. I ain't going to catch. She be grinding niggas. niggas up on her job. You don't think so? He don't know. He just be rocking around the meg. <laughs> <laughs> meg <laughs> woman <laughs> business. Listen, if summer get old or some shit, we got good music coming. Oh, speaking of music, speaking of music, uh, Fabo, I, I st- told you last part I didn't get a chance to listen to the project. That project is phenomenal, top to bottom, uh, P-H-A-B-O, if you're looking for it. Oh, you confused the shit out of me for a minute. You said Fabo. I'm like, Atlanta? He got a new project? Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, I know. Yeah. I'm waiting D4L, for Fable. the Atlanta yeah. investigation. To be I'm not. Nah, he's talking about the other dude. I'm talking about R and B. Yeah, yeah, he, that's why I was lost. Yeah, no, I'm talking about R and B. Uh, Don't get too cozy, by Fabo, Fabo, however you pronounce it. He's a friend of the show, and this album is heat, and it's difficult to do with. This is 18 tracks, 45 minutes. That's tough to do. All heat. It's all heat. Mm-hmm. The whole thing is hot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll probably play play a sleeper from it, nice. but I just wanted to highlight that. Shout out to him. Speaking, speaking of music, I've seen a couple. Um, tour announcements today that's kind of fire. Ty Dolla Sign announced a tour mm. with uh, Leon Thomas and Simba. Okay. Mm. Um, Tony, 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 Tony tour. September 30th in New York. You got the date already. Yes, sir. <laughs> All I did was look to see where that New York one was. <laughs> September 30th, I'll be there. Yeah. I'd like to see these tours rolling back around, man. That's You're it. a tour goer. Yeah. Are you going to a tour? Are you going on, you know, the performances and shows? It's not really my thing. Okay. What be your thing? Just yeah, yeah. I'm tired of that, bro. What do you do, my nigga? What do you do, bro? Do you do, bro? Everything yo don't be my travel. Thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, what else? That nigga's definitely Tommy from Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I travel when I work. We never, hear, we never hear about shit that he does. You don't do like, you don't do no like, say, uh, paint and sip. Yeah, I do all of that. I okay, go, you do those I things. I do Broadway shows. I go to the nice. movies a lot. I go to sports events a so lot. So you do do the paint and sip. You get up there naked and let the girls... I've never, <laughs> I've never, the only paint and sip I've ever been to, bitch-ass nigga, you was there. Oh. For real? You, yeah, yeah nigga. Joe Wait, what the Joe fuck is y'all on? What the fuck is y'all on? Come on, ain't nobody... Wait, wait, I don't even remember that. Y'all know some fucking eyes wide shut shit? <laughs> <laughs> what is the password? <laughs> <laughs> you be doing this shit too much. Wait, when we did the paint and sip, for real? Uh, Asia birthday party. That's the only painting tip oh, I've man. ever been to, nigga. I was so tight about that shit. <laughs> you don't go. Oh, man, you, you, <laughs> wait, what were you guys painting? Some bullshit. I forgot what we painted. I painted the sun and a dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know they give you the templates. Yeah, the the I just always the assumed mess. that it was like somebody naked. No, you, no. Never, you never went to a painting set? Ever? No. They too rich for us. Really? Yeah, I know. Oh, you want some rich shit? Yeah. And the rich girl, and they're going too far. <laughs> no, 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 anyway. Sing it. You can rely on your old man's money. You can rely on your old man's money. Wait, would you do a paint? Uh, uh, would you would you pose to let people paint you? A if thousand paid? percent. I look incredible naked. Fuck yeah. 
this is why that Vegas trip is going to be. Did <laughs> <laughs> you just say shit like that? Yeah. What y'all gonna do when what y'all gonna do when y'all girls is Melissa going? Yes, that's my coworker. She works there. She works yeah. there. This is all works. This look, is the sis. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I love that. Camaraderie. All right. Yeah. All right what, yeah. I love what would you charge for that for the paint thing? Oh god, it would be so fucking expensive. Oh. What's hmm. so expensive? Four O's, five O's. Just let her don't try to save her unless cause she might say something low. That she think is high. Let's hear. Twenty-five. Hundred? Oh wow! No, <laughs> we did. <laughs> no. Oh, twenty-five thousand. Yeah. Twenty-five thousand. How long do you pose? How long do we have you for? Mm, you got an hour. Oh yeah. I'm oh, done with you. I'm done with you. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Yo, Get out. The girls always price Get themselves out right out the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Twenty-five k for an hour. You can't even paint nobody. Exactly. You can't even really get the crevices That's right in the hour. <laughs> you got it, though, nigga. You got it. So it the don't matter, nigga. Yo, respect, yo, respect our coworker. Yo, respect our coworker. The crevices. Paying. I'm saying, I ain't mean to like, uh, I'm saying you got shit. Yeah. Come on. All right, you see crevices on our coworker? Wow. Yeah, <laughs> You're right, my fucking. You can't even paint that. You're right, though. You can't. Uh, uh, expound. What you mean? How long should it take? Maybe Several hours. Wait, no, wait. How long should it take is irrelevant. Okay. It might 000. take an hour. Nah. But you gonna stay for a while. <laughs> for four hours. Like this. <laughs> you gonna, yeah. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> yeah. Whatever pose she doing. Yeah, you no, gonna, you open your legs. Whatever I pose. <laughs> If you did all that shit on the Jeep for free, <laughs> shit. <laughs> now, let me tell you something, little Miss, Mu little Miss Muffin. Yeah, word. Oh, my God. Oh, speaking of festivals, really quick. <clears throat> Fuck. I wanted to highlight this because I was talking about it. Uh, Soul Bloom, Sacramento, Saturday, August 19th. There's Brent headlining, Ella May, Isaiah Rashad, Joey Badass, Nao, Sabrina Claudio, Mariah the Scientist, Amber Mark, LaRussell, Rennie, uh, Mariba, Phony People, Alex Isley, Fanta Hughes, Trey Amani, Black Party. Then on August 20th in Sacramento, Kehlani is headlining with Jesse Reyes, Pink Sweats, Chloe, Pink Panthers, Thigh, Jacquees, Mooney Long, Mahalia, Marky Basie, Destin Conrad, Aaron Ray. This is Coco Jones. Wow. What the fuck is going? Oh, with Tiana Taylor, mm. Samaria, yeah. Zay France. That's a crazy life. Wow. I might go to Sacramento for this Not weekend. Not bad at that. I might go to Sacramento for this weekend. I ain't been here in a while, but mm. I definitely might go there. I'm not. Uh, what else? What else is happening? Do y'all like MIA? Y'all ain't, ain't liking the MIA uh, set list? Made in America? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not a Made in America I'm, yeah, I'm guy. Not, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a Made in America I never, guy. Uh, I never went, even though it's in Philly, because I always got uh, football, but this weekend, it's like that perfect weekend to hit that, like, in NFL, like, you get a weekend right before the season for, like, cuts and shit. Like, mm -hmm. So they just like let everybody off. I used to be scared to death that whole fucking weekend. That's what I'm saying. Now, now you know you nah, ain't nah, getting yeah, cuts. Yeah. You can come outside. Yeah, now nah, I'm mean, ah. <laughs> <laughs> But my agent called me after my first year. I told this nigga, I'm like, don't ever fucking call me that weekend ever oh, again. Word. Leave me alone. Yeah. Oh, word. Kill word. But I might slide, though. I want to see SZA, man. She canceled the Philly show. Mm, I would want to see mm -hmm. SZA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the headliners are SZA and Lizzo. Uh, Miguel, Tim's, Metro Boomin, Ice Spice, Corley Ray, Lotto, Lil Yachty. Dochi, Lola Brooke, Colo Jones, Coco Jones, Paris, Texas, Tia Kareem, M. Triplin, Flo J. And this is a very special joint set. Speaking of SZA, SZA has previewed a new song. And I want it. Wow. I like that. Thick SZA, boy. Thick SZA, boy. Like Luther. <laughs> it's like Big Luther. Now hold on. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little different. It's a little different. Hold on. Yeah, I was kind of shocked. Yeah. Hold on. What you mean? Yeah, you what, you, what you mean by that? Expound. <laughs> nah, I think I see where you was going. Like, I, see it. Well, I don't see it, but I, I think I know where you going. What you were saying? Oh man, yo, you stupid, yo. Go ahead, bro. Nah, 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 I'm good. Stupid ass. Dick scissor, boy. <laughs> Fat back scissor. <laughs> um. Oh, the, uh, that's what I was saying. The fucking surgeon from Jackie O's. Yes. What happened with that procedure? Finally released a statement, and the statement says absolutely nothing. No, nothing at all. Absolutely. It's basically saying that the doors are still open. Mm. 
What's that? For what? business. Yeah. To Person. all my past, current, and prospective patients, PH1 Miami remains devoted to the highest quality medical care. All aesthetic procedures are performed in hygienically safe environments, environment to universally recognized medical standards. I am relentlessly committed to blah, 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 blah. But that's all. Yeah. He didn't say mm. nothing. Like, I... He didn't say recipes or no, like condolences. No, didn't even acknowledge that anything happened. No. Seems a little. Business as usual and we can act cool. like Is we this the white dude that had the curly hair? Uh, no, his, he's, he background? looks like he looks like Israeli. Oh, I, so I, I could, could be, yeah. I saw a different um yeah. um one of their colleagues uh speak on it. And he said basically, um again, rest in peace to Jackie O, but she had a um an aneurysm. Mm -hmm. And he said Anytime you lay down on the table and you undergo the knife, mm -hmm. your, your blood pressure could raise up, that could pop mm -hmm. the aneurysm. Mm -hmm. A lot of different things could be presented, regardless of what type of procedure you were having. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you could have went under the knife for a tonsillectomy, you know, whatever, uh -huh. you, and you could have, uh, potentially that could have potentially I have to imagine something. you have to be very, very careful about what you say. You have to that's, be, you it that's that's opens you up to like what? medical yeah. malpractice. Yeah. Yeah. So then maybe don't say nothing yet? Yeah, even, even if yeah, you, isn't part. it like when you apologize, that's like assuming guilt or something like that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You probably got to keep it, you know, super bland, let it know, like, look, we still doing stuff. Yeah. yeah. Definitely still a human though at the end of the day you know what I'm saying you still but then like, when it be business though it's not even a business like you know what I'm saying you, I got it you, you, you can make a private it, statement to the family potentially but above board you gotta keep got it, it. Okay. Keep, keep it professional um I do see rumors circulating out there regarding uh easy to block captain and papoose papoose and the chrome 23 event I find it hard to believe. Uh, Remy, my good sister, family for me, has addressed this via tweets. She said it is it is the furthest thing from the truth what you've heard in these rumors. I won't mention the rumors, but from what I know, he would never do such a thing. He would never do that to easy to block happen. That is not the papoose that I know and love. So if they don't tell me it happened, I don't think it happened. There, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And I'm with you on that. Yeah, he ain't do that. Nah. He ain't do that to him. No, no mm -mm. way. Mm -mm. No way. No. Nope. Not, not black love. Mm -mm. No, that don't. That ain't synonymous with black love. Mm -mm. Yep, sorry, easy. Better figure out who did it. Someone else. Mistaken identity. It happens all the time. Yeah. Happens no time in this community. <laughs> Easy said nothing happened to him, though. Oh, good. Even better. Yeah, he said nothing yeah, happened. Nothing happened. Said, yeah, just, people just want to see him fail. I agree mm. with that. That's a fact. People will try to see you fail <laughs> as you're climbing up the ladder to success. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, he hit that up, Spark. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> uh... Bradley Bill to the Phoenix Suns. Chris Paul shipped out again. <laughs> Parks is arch nemesis. Yeah. Ship, ship. Chris Paul shipped to Washington. Ain't going to get shipped again, apparently. Yeah. That's what they're saying to one of the LA Back teams. To LA, yeah. I'm only laughing at people that saying that the washed point guard trifecta is complete now because of John Wall and Russell Westbrook having oh, played shit. for Houston, <laughs> Washington. And the Clippers. <laughs> and now Chris Paul has done the same. The trifecta is complete. That's there crazy. it is. <laughs> that is nuts. That's hilarious. There it is. Uh, how do y'all feel? Does Bradley Beal take uh, Phoenix where they need to be? No. 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 $130 million for three players. This is feeling like the... Uh, oh, four the, players. I'm sorry. Brooklyn Nets, but not even as good. <sighs> this feels like one of them iterations that didn't really... Excite or pain. Well, they have nobody finished. else on their team. They'll find somebody. No, I was about to say it depends on what um, role players they could pull off in the off season. Because you got four stars. If you can get some quality, four stars with Bill three and three, three and a half. Aiton is a star. He ain't not a superstar. He a star. Where? Won a star last year. He wanted. A, he wanted a better big man in the yeah, league. Absolutely, though. he is. So again, with those, I would three, have to go through the big men in the league to see where he's one of the I, better. I agree on that. He, 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 he's definitely one he, of the better yeah, big men. But with those three, they'd have done a lot better with Stephen Adams. 
That's not debatable. But uh, that's debatable. That's how their team was set up. I just don't think Bill changed anything. Like nigga, yeah. they ain't got a point guard either. Aiden, you can't move out the way when the Joker is near the basket. <laughs> Joker move out the way all the time. He just move out the way and throw that bitch ninety feet basically for a bucket. Okay, well, Aiton does not. No. <laughs> but again, he's he going to have to play fourth fiddle. You don't have no pressure on you. You could play fourth fiddle. You got three niggas that could get 50. Yeah, but you want the four, like the center in that situation to be just a straight-up rebound and defensive monster and sure. Aiton so, moved yeah, out of the way you, for Joker. That's why I said if they could go get other pieces, like if they could do some shit like – Miami did where you get a bunch of dudes that don't necessarily make a shit ton of money but that play their role and are comfortable in playing their role to get boards and play D Denver's not I mean uh, Phoenix won't be that bad they'll be competing again they lost to Denver who went on to win the championship yeah you, and they won two games and they got rid of their head coach who sure. was a award winning head coach mm -hmm. and that's it I don't know man so I'm just saying at the addition of Bradley Bill don't make them Dude. worse I like Bradley Beal. I just I don't think, think they that he's. Worse. I don't. You, I don't think you they're think worse. they are worse? I think they're worse. I feel like they was a good team. They just same thing with Brooklyn. They never played together. You can't pull up and play uh, pick up basketball in the playoffs, nigga. Like True. these teams play. And that's what they did. They ever been playing together for three years, even without Jamal. You're not finna just beat a team like that. But with Bradley Beal, I just feel like they team is just mad clunky. You just it's just it's just proven over and over, and you're not gonna win like that in the NBA. Like. In seven games, the NBA is different. You got to beat a team four times, like out of, and that's just. I don't see how that's gonna happen. And then just they probably end up trading Aiton for pieces though, because he's clogging up a lot of the paper. But that would be even nice. even that being said, I just I still don't think. Now, I, mean, I don't know if Booker proved it for real, for real. I mean, Bill liked that too, but I don't know. He was when I mean, last time he led the league in scoring was like two three years ago. He he led the league in scoring once. Okay. That that speaks volumes. If you lead the NBA in scoring one time, that shit speaks volumes. And now you got who are you talking about? Bradley Bill. Did he lead the league in scoring? Yeah, yeah. like two years ago. But you take all the team. shots though. Everything going directly yeah. through you. True. You getting every single thing. That's not going to happen it's in Phoenix. Not, which makes it again even more threatening to play off the ball. You got Booker that could get fifty any night. You got KD that could get fifty any night. You got Bradley Bill that could get fifty any night. Not that many teams have that much offensive firepower. If you could go find people to get rebounds and play defense, y'all got a shot. All right, those, those, are, those all, don't be all the easy right, slip and slamming. No, I'm just saying that's, <laughs> they got a shot. I'm not saying they could be different. Look at slip and they got slamming. a shot. They got a shot. Those, those don't be the easy players to find though. Good role players. They, they got a shot, bro. All right. Quickly, Draymond Green, does he start uh, next season on the Warriors or not? No. Yeah. Yes. Clay don't. He probably playing for does. more money. That's all that is. He's just playing games. Clay, you think Clay is I, gone? I think Clay's gone. Yeah. They I can't lose Draymond. Draymond, the, the dark skin, without, them all the light skin boys without one dark skin dude there, that's going to be a oh bad job. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he there for, bro. bro. We smoke yeah, Draymond. That's what he felt. He, he, he did to be dark skin. Look, look, soon, 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 <laughs> Steph feeling like he and his feelings. Draymond said, all right, don't worry about it. I'm going to go swing on the ref. Yeah. And turn the whole building up. Draymond Green is vital to that. Yeah, they can't. They not that without Draymond. Okay. I agree. I How did you feel about the Jaw uh, ja suspension? They just slapped my man on the hands. They waited. Oh, we going to do it at the end? Bro, ain't nobody even thinking about that shit. I'm, I'm forgetting what video he even gets suspended for at this point. I'm like, damn, like... 25 games. Only thing that do suck though is they playing with his money because now he bread. can't. I ain't like that. He can't make the All NBA team. He can't make the All Star game, and that's gonna hit it hurting when it come contract time. But I feel like if that they gonna teach him something, that's probably the only way to really teach him. Like, look, <laughs> this is us actually. You know what I'm saying? Punishing you. But 25 games, he still could. They they was already. They was still the number two seed, so they could still come back. And he actually might go crazy. A whole half a season of rest he might pull up and snapping. So, or it might work out for him. Another video might pop up. What video? Another video. Another video. I don't think he learned. Who does the grocery shopping in y'all in your houses? Me. Me. Uh, not me. Both. Not me neither. Not you. Both. No. Both. Y'all ever go together? Hell no. no. I have a, no. Every seller. If she going, why I gotta go? Nigga said, hell no. <laughs> All right, Mister Man. <laughs> I'm just saying, why are we both like going? Oh, you don't take your, so your girl can't go to Super Bowl. I she, oh, can't, I she can't. She can't go to Super Bowl. Hold up, I <laughs> nothing super. Can't go to the super. She can't do nothing super. That's a narrative. What, what you mean? She going to Beyonce. She going to Beyonce, Beyonce in Chicago. Her and friends they going to turn up. You know what I'm saying? That's Look, fire. You know what I mean? Turn that's up. You that's fire. Do a thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let's be. You know they taking the car. You feel me? You know how that go. You know what I mean? He doing it right. He do it right. But when you go together, who pushes the cart? 
Oh, I gotta push the car. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the dude job. Because I don't know where nothing at. So I can't be directing traffic. You direct traffic. I'm just really following you in this joint. True. Y'all feel the same? Yes. Yeah, I'm pushing the car. I'm definitely pushing the car. Don't you don't like pushing the car? That's not what I said. I don't care who pushed the car. I think going by yourself. You I get, live by myself, you, you, so. You, you're more quicker to get out the supermarket than going with your significant other. you there long and they're dragging their feet. You feel like how you was a kid when you tried to rush your mother and out that shit. Like, <laughs> like hurry up, nigga. Oh, you want Ragu, Prego, or Emerald, nigga? Pick. Don't compare. We're not reading. I'm just picking. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. I don't price shop. I don't do none of that shit. You I go in there with a girl, it. you start learning about shit. You ain't even know the supermarket sold. Exactly. <laughs> Where's the cinnamon tomato paste? It's normally right here. Like, wait, what? They got, wait, huh? Cinnamon tomato. I don't know what the fuck they been talking about. Flip out and know you jump on the car and be uh, scooting around. Nah, hell, no, 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 I ain't gonna cap. I do that. I be like a big ass the car. You about to flip over and shit. I be drunk. And then do a skip. Well, no. Turn this Pat Mark shit. <laughs> Pat Mark. I just, I just, it's just, you know. I think, and it's going to, I don't want to say what I'm going to say. Yeah, don't say it. Did you smack crazy. somebody with lettuce one time? I thought I saw that shit on your page one time. You Long time ago. Okay, you a change, man? I, I am. I'm proud of you, bro. Oh, and them uh, niggas you had on your show to do them little patties was on the news this morning. Them niggas getting a lot of money. <laughs> I'm charging people to come up here. Fuck that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck that. You thought he wasn't? <laughs> nigga, it was five. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It was six in the morning. I'm on the news. This nigga in the store. Yeah, I do it like this. Lying around the corner. I, I, I. I'm like, all right, next time. I got you, buddy. That was your man. I got he, you. He wanted you to record a video of you eating a patty and shit. Send it to him. Remember that? Man, I left him shit in the car. Ended up throwing it out. I ain't even taste it. Mm. I fucked it up. I fucked up. I fucked up big time. Those shits were so good. You did fuck up. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> they were so good. I'm they thinking good. about them now. Like, can you get Uber I got eats? you. Can, yeah? Now I'll bring you over Could there. We? Okay. Girls always begging for food. Yes. <laughs> My girl, girls, yeah. girls do not know how to take care of them. Nah, that'd, that'd, be, that'd be it, though. As soon as she start getting mad, just give her some food. She come right the fuck down. Right on us. That's a fact. Food, food or some... Yeah, they come. Does, that, does, that, does begging for food, does it intertwine with the soft life thing? I don't know what the fuck that is, but I've been hearing about it. Soft life. You better get with it. I'm in mean, my soft life right now. Nigga, I turn off, you know I'm in mean, my shit. You uh, in your soft life? You yeah, had to fuck talk that. To when I first you got your toes, I see, bro. You when know, I first you came here, like, Joe I like said, the slides on them. They I hate hard, this nigga. You said you <laughs> like your toes. Yo, listen, I, like, I, hate I didn't say I like it. See, <laughs> see, nah, see, that's crazy. And then when I yeah, first dude. came here, Joe said, listen, you don't have to be the devil's advocate for everything. So, you know what I mean? So, if I hear about soft life, I'm automatically trying to find something to go against it. So, I need to know fully so I can fire on them. Soft life. I don't know what the fuck that is. And I'm not in my shit. Because I'm a work till I'm 50. So you're not in the soft life shit? I would like to be, though. Pamper me, bitch. <laughs> so it's when you get pampered. Pay, pay some of these bills. It's when you take over. To take, yeah. Let her take over some shit. Like me. Soft I was soft life. life. I was flued out. Yeah. She took care soft of everything. Life-ish? Soft life-ish? You went to that? Soft life is stress You went to soft life-ish? Ish, man? No. I'm never... Uh, had that. And why your name is Yo, why you always try to come in yeah. so studious? Yeah. Nigga, talk. Use your yeah, fucking yeah, real yeah. voice. Nigga, yeah, 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 I thought about that. I, I was at home. God, like, why this nigga named Ish? This nigga named Antoine. It is Ish. It's not Ish, man. It's not Ish. It's your law. Yo, where you get Ish from Antoine? Yeah, leave it there for real. That's his Muslim name. Oh, for real? Talk, nigga. He will not talk, right? Yo, earlier, and real quick, then I'll get to part of the okay. show, but Flip was trying to find out if all-inclusive, he was here for that, if all-inclusive yeah, was, yeah. was yeah, like yeah, some broke All-inclusive I'm on, I'm on, I'm on Flip's. There's levels to the uh, all-inclusive, Media bro. train. Don't do that, bro. Oh. That is all right, tell me about, tell me about the levels. Tell me about the levels. There's some resorts out there. He's talking about like the double tree one. No, no. Like, wow, that's crazy. No, 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 no. He talking about that. What the fuck? talking about that one. No, I want to know that What level you went to that was all inclusive? Yeah. First of all, I mean, we ain't speaking on that, but no, there's I'm certain, there's certain joints you go to. No, no, no. Like, you said, funny, you like you said, you get the joint with the butler, that's fire. I ain't going to hold so this up. Because my great grandmama used to really look at the people's houses, so I, I always like, damn, I don't want no. But when you got somebody, you, yo, I need the uh, chocolate joint, ooh, they pull it. That's fire. That's mm. OD. I ain't going to count. So the last time you did one? Yeah. Uh, what season was that? And that was uh, after first my, rookie, like my high school. No, that, was after my, that was after my third year, whenever that was, right before the pandemic, right before the pandemic. That's so there's was. a rich. What fucking year you? This nigga's a vet for real. I swear. So there's a rich, all inclusive, basically. Oh yeah, and you gonna know too, cause I ain't gonna hold you. So like, 
That's I'm different. like I'm, I, We got a paper But we still young though. I'm 25 With the 56 year old It just It just wasn't The energy in that joint We we playing music On the beach They looking like like Oh my god I ain't That's never heard thing. of this You know what I'm saying But See, I, I like that. I'm I like that. I got the big room, so you better not say nothing to me. <laughs> get my butler over here. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, at the same time, though, it's a good John, though. You could definitely get the fly all inclusive. I'm not hating. No, but no, that shit was fly. Was <laughs> only, so <laughs> now, now, now I feel weird. Hey, y'all get mad? Y'all don't like us down here? Cool. We got a private pool in our room, like outside on the balcony. Mm. So cool. Mm. Fuck y'all. We out here. Mm. Nigga, free to Drake, shit. Drake said private villas only, though. So ever uh, since he said that, I feel uh, weird about Drake it. Drake got a jet. That's fair. Mm-hmm. No, but he was on to something there. That's what I'm saying, though. So, like, now I'll be on some shit like, damn, let's do the villa. Private man. villa. Yeah, the villa was With the chef. chef. Private resort. With the chef? Yeah. My only thing is security. Oh, let's go, Joe. Talk shit. I'm out to show where you at, nigga. I know where you going to Jamaica. I'm on your way. <laughs> I'm going to show these niggas something. I'm like, on your ass in Jamaica. Jamaica. I'm going to... Wait, y'all, if you had an all-inclusive, you do the pool that's in the room? Oh, you got herpes now. This is not herpes at all. Yeah, so you got a little bit. Crazy. You got a little herpes. Probably, John, the pro- I'm not talking about the you John. Got a little herpes. It's five different rooms and they all in the same John. I'm talking about you got no, your own pool own, to the beach. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm man. talking about. It wasn't your own <laughs> after an hour ago. Oh, or seven hours ago. Or they clean, 72 they, hours they, ago. They, they clean that shit, John. Nah, right. they clean it, right? Like the Palmolive shit. Comet? <laughs> <laughs> well, duh. Nah, Comet get rid of the herp. <laughs> Comet gonna get the herp right out of there. Oh, scratch the whole pool Yeah yeah. <laughs> they clean the shit Joe. Don't Nah nah that, For real Nah do you This thing is a fucking <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, You've never I'm done All inclusive Yes, I've been to all inclusive. That's how I know that I hate all inclusive. Oh, but New Joe don't do all inclusive. Who's New Joe? See, I hate that. Nah, don't you talk about it though? Life Joe. Don't you talk about it Soft though? Because I, I don't want to talk about it no more Soft publicly. Life Joe. Publicly, I don't want to do new old Joe. In recent years, <laughs> since you got since since you really <laughs> like since dedicated really myself to my craft and pardon. <laughs> See, this how you got to talk when you try to go to Vegas, just like that. Come on, you already. She ain't going to no Super Bowl, nigga. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck we doing, nigga? I, I, I'm hitting niggas. We outside in Vegas. I ain't playing. You not outside. Come on, no, Joe. Don't do that, Joe. I'm telling you something. Joe. Joe, don't do that, Joe. Come I'm on, telling man. you something. Come on, man. I hit Joe. I ain't. I hit Joe on the phone. Yo, where you at? Hey, bro. Don't worry about I'm on my way. We pulling the eye. I said, I bet no more. We get to the jo- Yo, where you at? What happened? Because I was downstairs ah. when I spoke to you. I was about to. I go, went on my little coffee run. I, 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 we out, nigga. He was like, all right, I oh, know you, you was got by yourself time. when you talked. I was to downstairs him. when I spoke to him. No, you was by yourself. Yeah. Nigga, I went upstairs. Oh. Oh. And, I, and I heard he was That's like, changed. He wasn't really loud, though, because he, yeah, like, he was like, yeah, I'm going to get it. Nah, nah, nah. I'm going to pull up on you, yo. Word. Nah, for sure. With the low voice. With the low voice. I'm just waiting on you. It was Dolo. Yeah. I went on my coffee run. Faking a jack. When I went back up to my room, I thought I was Dolo. Also, I didn't see nobody in the living room or the bedroom. She in there hugging the toilet. Ah, ah, I never felt so sick. Oh my God, what did I eat? I ate the pork. Well, they gave her pork. She said, she, she said, that nigga, they gave us a pork. She don't eat pork. <laughs> watch this. Oh, you think you're going out? Watch this one. I told you, next time nigga play this shit on YouTube with the rain sounds and all that shit, nigga. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Run the water. Let her go to sleep. I could have left her in there, but I mean, shit. What kind of man would I be? That's true. That's, that's true, fair, man. Something that's bad fair, that's happened. That's solid. And Zaire, you know why I don't like talking to you? Because you 25. <laughs> and, 20, and, I'm, yeah. and I'm 42. 25 now? So there's like a, it's like I got to act like 42 sometimes. But when I was your age, I had to let my ass right in that fucking room. And you wouldn't even, when I was 25, she had to pour Pepto Bismol over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, I got this right here on the uh, yeah. I got to see you, you know, <laughs> Hey, catch this Tylenol. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got hands? <laughs> but I'm going to hang out with my football playing friends. All right? You sit tight. Shit, if I was 25, I'd have had a few rooms over there. It wouldn't have just been that room. She just thought I got kidnapped downstairs getting the coffee. <laughs> oh, shit, he never returned. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, part of the show, part of the show, part of the show. I got a part of the show from... From what's this girl's name? Soon as I find it, bop, 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 bop. What is this girl's name? Alexandra. All right. Oh no, Dev. Well, whatever her name is. It's Dev or <laughs> Alexandra. It's one of them. Crazy. Or it's both. All right. Dev says, "Is it actually a disservice for a woman who is looking to get married to make multi six figures?" I'm single, and as noted above, I've grown up in a male in male-centric environments. 
I never realized being welcome in the barbershop was a strike against me. I cook, like cook, cook. I have done catering level food for all of my brother's engagement parties by myself for the love and fun because I love cooking. This had been since I was like 16. To, for reference, I'm only 32. I'm not a weird lurking hag. I just chill, make good food, travel, and am convinced that my future significant other is either dead or living in a foreign colony somewhere. <laughs> I don't understand this question. Is she, is she saying that because she makes too much money? Yes. I think, I think that's that what that's she's saying. The, I think that's where the question is. Is, is that a turn off to men? No. A woman who makes the high six figures, is that a turn off to men? No. Yes. And I think, I think she's be. probably turned off by men, though. No, 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 no. It could be if the niggas insecure. It Some be insecure yeah. niggas do not want that. A lot mm -hmm. of insecure, and a lot of the niggas that be really high earners, like a lot of athletes, a lot of entertainers, a lot of high earning men, even outside of those professions, a lot of those niggas put their stake in the fact that I do make the money. Mm -hmm. So that's where my control lies. That's where my True. that's where my confidence lies in the fact that I do make this much money. So if you make that much money, that relinquishes some of my control. She got to go fight her a little broke broke dude. That, that's that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's why a lot of the rich women be yeah. fucking the pool boys. That, that's yeah, right. because and, he giving her time and attention. <laughs> yeah, time the and shit that the rich nigga don't have. Why you clean the pool, nigga? He, he clean the pool too. Oh, For oh, real. Well, I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I want to say something else, but go ahead. I'm listening. I, I know because all you do is come on here and pander. That's <laughs> not what I do. Pander your little hard away. I'm the pander. I know guy. you do want to say something. Yeah, no, but I'm far you, from the pander guy. Women, women be annoying broke. Imagine a woman rich. So niggas. now we talking about the girl that get up, up, and start bugging, power tripping the same way niggas do. Exactly. You got the women that like to compare themselves to men, so they get up, up, and start acting like a certain way, emasculating you. Shut the fuck you. Up and turn that TV yeah. on, man. I slap fire. Up. Yeah, like remember your girl sent you to watch TV in the other room. <laughs> in the living room? In the small TV. Yeah. In the living room. Remember you. Your, your room, your bedroom. You said that. I don't, I've never said anything of the sort. You said something similar. Yes, though. Did. I said, my girl sent me to go watch TV in another room. Y'all got Yes. Y'all got something. Y'all got something. They ain't going to do it if you keep from, balling your fist up at people. I'm from tight. I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. Go watch that shit downstairs, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and wasn't it like a playoff game or something? Yeah. Yes, it was. Cowboys. Man. A cowboy game. It's your team. No, he said that she was watching. Watching it and he was he was being <laughs> loving, so he decided to, to take his his I'm talents saying. to the living room. Yeah, gotcha. She said, "Turn that shit down <laughs> and don't oh, come and back in here." He said, "His but, bedroom bigger than his living room." Don't forget that too. But, but to answer Shorty's question, um, <laughs> so he had to go to the lowest. Yeah. And I'm doing a sipping paint up here too <laughs> in the room. In the, in the room, nigga, stay down for his. <laughs> Did you lay uh, on the couch? <laughs> Yo, dog. Anyway, this is not about me. This is about Come on, it's Alexandra Dev. Nigga went to grab his pajamas to go downstairs. <laughs> I'm going to just stay in the living room for the night. Yeah. It yeah. was nippy down there. You got pajamas in your house? I have robes. It's not, yeah, yeah, that's that's an elitist. Nah, question, you, you, got know, you got pajamas or robes? Robes is elitist? I have both. I don't wear pajamas. Y'all really put robes on in your house? <laughs> no. He put the silky shits on. Yeah, nigga, naked underneath, but like right. Big Daddy K. <laughs> <laughs> that shit on fire. Yeah, fuck is you talking about? The shit with the hoodie. Got some uh, fire. Well, where you get a fly robe? I have one with a the Versace ones. The Versace ones. That's the only. That's way the to go. classic one that all the hood that. niggas that's ran down. That's what I see. Though. That's what I see. That's I got a Bottega robe. They like damn. I got a Balenciaga robe. Don't tell nobody. I got a. I got a. They fly robe. Which one got the hoodie on it? Huh? The hoodie on it. Uh, that Versace rope got a hood. Yeah. I think I stole one from Four Seasons, but that's not necessarily stealing. You can keep them, you know. Yeah, you they just charge you like, like a million a dollars. Professional athlete. Oh, the rope is <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. You still stealing? Yeah, that, that shit. Still, 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 still stealing, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you can't say that Four Seasons OD though? Like two bands to stay in New York City is crazy. Don't yeah. don't even talk. No, about bigger that. than that, nigga. Any of them shits. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting a box around. Oh, you crazy? That was like four years ago. Don't do that. See, that's how. Hold on, Joe. See. Now I got switch sides, Joe. That's rookie, that that's rookie side. contract size. <laughs> yeah, that was. It was. Yeah, that, was <laughs> it was. that was. That was contract year. Yeah, we had to pitch. Had to save. Just in case. Had to save. Just in case. Ooh, but get me a robe. <laughs> nah, but. <laughs> uh, I jacked them niggas. Wait, that's what the nigga on the Cowboys did when the Macy's stole all them boxers. Y'all gotta chill out. Well, what happened? <laughs> when boy on the Cowboys. Uh, he ain't there no more. 
but he went to Macy's and stole all the boxes out. He was having a good year too. I thought he was on he was Receiving on Cowboys him. and stole a lot of Macy's. Yeah. Yes. For what? Just cause nigga was exploring. Ain't no drugs on my nigga. <laughs> you know niggas, some niggas still for sport, yo. Niggas just don't be having nothing. They be kleptos. But crazy. wait, what you mean? Do I got pajamas, nigga? You ain't got pajamas. Me? I'm, 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 no. I feel like I'm, I wear, I, don't I wear no ball shorts. I'm not I'm asking average. you, Mister Man. I asked man. you that question. Oh, I thought he asked me that. No, I don't have no shorts. I'm, I'm in the crib. I wear shorts. You know what I'm saying? Like coat shorts, right? Like no, not. You don't wear the team gear. Hold on. Hell no, I don't wear the team gear outside the building. That's a fine, honestly. Don't wear team gear outside. Like, why would I pull up in here with a coat shirt? Like the fuck? Yeah, really? Niggas don't know I play for the coat shirt. Football <laughs> niggas is doofy. Oh, hey. Oh, <laughs> some of them. Nah, he, that's crazy. You no, never. No, 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 no. no, no wait a second. Football some of niggas will go out their way to make sure Come you play football. We've seen it before. Just talking to a nigga about that, bro. You are relaxed. Basketball niggas been famous since seventh grade. Like we gotta get our shit off some way. That's, yeah, so we, 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 guess, what, guess what? We was in Dreads. That shit was Zaire. Yeah, all that. Yeah. Shit. You, that shit, you got me fucked up. That's how I gotta be. But we. That's just how we gotta carry. It, Wait, though. you was popping bottles in Dreads? Oh, CD, I'm talking too much, man. <laughs> Wait, had to be there. Man. A few of them too. What a if time. they brought the big sign up. <laughs> Wasn't well, just me, you know what I mean? A couple teammates, you know. Mm. Bringing that, that's how you typically do. You Which I mean? teammates? That'll a tell nice me. That'll, that'll yeah, tell me. What, right. no, what position? <laughs> that'll tell me. Yeah, what position? That's right. That's right. Well, nice right. cornerback well, right. y'all had. Who, Gilly? Nah, Gilly, Gilly family, man. Shout out to Gilly, man. Oh, got gotcha. you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my dog, you know what I mean? But. I'm trying to get back to these roles. I'm trying to figure out where y'all getting these fly roles. I'm trying to Anywhere, up my, my in-house in leisure. Any other store, Sacks. Well, y'all should stop living like a peasant yeah. <laughs> and put They're some nice not. stuff on you your body. You notice that when you ask a nigga a question about his, he ain't going to tell, he go divert. That's he why I keep plug. circling he back, He is not though. a plug. Like, he, he, he believe it. He say he, he listen to snitch music. Because y'all trying to snitch right now. Our girl done asked me where a few of them roles came from. He never snitched his blog, no. No, That nigga would die with his blog. I got you. No, tell us. I... I we I named all the places. He did. He did. He Balenciaga loves Bottega. Bottega, that's Bottega rolls is nice. And is he loves Bergdorf's. That's mm. where he goes. Even before that, like had is a silky? polo robe. Like even before niggas was able. To, I have a so balcony, so yeah, I yeah. like to have a robe. And so you could go out. Yeah, I mean, it feels good on your skin. Satin pajama set. Huh? You got like I used to. I used to. I used to. You love it. What's the name of my shit? Ah, shorty. I can't say. Forget it. Nah. <laughs> I'm listening, bro. Man, I'm listening. Oh, it's, 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 it's Googling it now. Okay. I'm about to get some robes too. Nah, robes is the shit. Robes is the shit. Robes is the shit. Yeah. I don't know if I'm there yet, see. Like, you on your. It's two you bands. Hugh Hefner shit. None of y'all have yeah, robes. So none, of, is, none of y'all have robes. I have one. I got robes. What expensive. kind of robes you I have? One I got robe. a Ralph Lauren joint. It ain't expensive. It ain't nothing crazy. This nigga is yeah. Newark till he dies. <laughs> Ralph Lauren robe. Yo, I don't know if I'm hey, on the robe. Listen, uh, everybody yeah, ain't there. Yeah, I'm, I, got, I got that. There you go. I love it. But what's underneath the robe? Pajamas? Seven bands. You can't go Seven bands band for the robe? Yeah. You wear pajamas under the robe? No. T shirt? Yes. Shorts? Yes. No. 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 Pause. Pause. Oh, wait, no, no. The robe, the robe is. Yeah, you, you fully clothed underneath the robe? That's no. That's crazy. I just, wait, hold that's on. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. You just do you you said water, I got on a t-shirt and some boxes. Do you that's, water your lawn in cool. that in that outfit? Because I just top and the bottom. I, I, ain't got no lawn. <laughs> I do got a lawn, you bitch ass nigga. You don't got no lawn. <laughs> <laughs> you talk uh -oh. about nigga. You I do got lawn. Where? In the back. What lawn? That's not a lawn. That's not a lawn. Wait, that's not lawn? No, no. no. Grass. Grass. That nigga grass wait, a lawn? in this rug talking about Wait, what's the wait, what's the lawn? Hold up. A lawn gotta be in the front, dog. <laughs> lawn gotta be in the front, bro. Oh, then that's the front. <laughs> then that's the front. <laughs> <laughs> How fast, y'all? Y'all got a stripper going to trick me. Talking about a lawn. <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> that, that is funny. <laughs> this guy is a duck case, bitch. Uh, <clears throat> I'm good, daddy. I'm not playing with y'all. It's a nice robe for 7100 I ain't going to hold you. Nah, I'm on. I, if with? I got a robe, I'm definitely butt <laughs> naked in that John, though. That's the only way you can do it. Why is he looking at robes? <laughs> what? Why are you looking at robes that cost seven grand? I was just showing Every he, week. he rich. Can we, what, can we start that? Now? I was showing this to my man. You, you want my nigga? It can be good. Cool. Cool. <laughs> that don't make it thorough. So you're not rich no more. I mean, I'm, I'm no, well off. He was asking man. me why I'm middle. looking at the seven thousand dollars. I hate when niggas that get money trying to throw shit off. I, I see. No, but see, compared to other league, I'm upper middle class league. That's where I'm at. But I ain't, I ain't top. Wait, you're not upper middle class America. 
<laughs> but I don't compare my well, respect. I mean, I done respect. been there. I done been poor. Nigga, now, you just talked about the two thousand dollar a night room was your rookie Yo, deal. I said that on a slick. Everybody probably wouldn't even. <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> that's what I, no, that's nasty, bro. Yeah, you know I mean? he be blowing some shit up, boy. I did. Yeah. You yeah, said you be two thousand. Oh, that was your rookie deal. That's what you said, nigga. Four Seasons is nice. Big sweet now, huh? Four Seasons could be nice. But see, you can it's take nice. the Four Seasons somewhere, and uh, uh, that's that's that that's not all inclusive. Huh? No, no, that's not inclusive. at all. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not no. even. I ain't gonna hold you. They had the iPad in the room. I'm like, damn, yeah. this shit. Oh, you walk dude. in the TV, say your name, yeah. all that shit. That's when you. Yeah. Could, <laughs> that's when you can stop bringing your little portable speaker. It's yeah. there already. Yeah. 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 It's there oh, already. In the shower it. too. All right, not all the shit that y'all listed. My shit had to be like a higher end, all inclusive. All that was there. Name on the room, the portable, the fire shit. the I don't even know the name of that brand. Banging some shit. Banging all of shit. That, that was that. The, your the, shit I, wasn't that too. Shit on, I said, you had God the, the banging all of sin in there? Yeah. yeah you, hear, like, you hear the instruments like Parks. Damn, that <laughs> shit was <laughs> knocking. I'm banging like, all of sin. Remember they oh, had to bought the store in the mall? Shit was nah, your shit wasn't too bad. I ain't never, wasn't too I ain't bad. never heard that one before. Yeah, you had the, they put the joint on the bed like the happy birthday or did they do any of that? Leave you some, no, no, leave you some chocolate with a car? Yeah. They did that dumb shit. Hey, shout out to the DR, man. I love you, son. Listen, man. <laughs> Only thing that gave it away for your shit was Hector and them. <laughs> How they give it away? You shouldn't have been near no nigga, nobody else. <laughs> I should have been nobody in there, huh? <laughs> yo, you ain't shit. Yo, you ain't shit. Why you do this, man? Yo, hey, hey Zeus. Yeah. <laughs> nah, because I'm looking at Ice Bid and he was turned up. Yeah, nigga, we're going to pump it up. Let's like, see when I see some niggas. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Oh, no. Come on, babe. Let's go. <laughs> yo, I ain't trying. If I'm on vacation, get them niggas away from me, boy. <laughs> I, I had a good time. Oh, I, had a great time. Lot, I had a great time, man. Fuck it, I'm idiot. done with you. She lost the shorty again. She did that. Don't mention my Cole's crevices again. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Uh, that was it started there. <laughs> he fool. Can't even get the crevices yet. Yeah. Yeah. First thing that came. Listen, now you gonna run it back. My bad. <laughs> my fault. You right. winning. All right. My sorry, fault. No, no, no. That's my bad. My fault. Play us fuck up too. Indeed. Uh, you listen to Gunner? What the new one? I heard, I heard some of it, yeah. You listen to it, nigga. You listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to downplay it. I'm, yo, I'm, I'm, waiting yo, to say, I'm waiting to hear what, what is wrong with saying. people, yo? This is crazy. Hold on. Let me, I can't can I believe, believe this, yo. Can I defend myself? Of course. Yes. <laughs> listen, I'm from North Philly. I'm not a street dude. My family is all, you feel me? They did that. Look, I'm the young one. They, they protected me. I didn't do that. I got a college Thank degree God. in Thank finance. God. Thank God. Come on, clap it up. Thank God. Look, I don't play that role. However... How I grew up, I like to believe what the rappers I listen to talk about. So, like, I like Gunna, but sometimes it's hard for me. Like, if I'm listening to him, and then, like, he got a couple songs. We play him in the locker room, so I'm playing with the guys. Like, But if he plays something, then he talk about not telling or something like that. It's just kind of like, you feel me? It's just it kind of contradicting. That's why I, now I can't stop listening to Thug, because if Thug tells him, telling the truth about all the shit he was saying, he's damn near one of the greatest. Yeah, they got us, man. They that's got us. They, they got us, they do. boy. You know, a lot of rappers lotto, right? Like, like I, that's fair. This is no, wrestling, I mean, but once you figure it out, it's like oh, I can't. Like, that's why I can't. Uh, watch uh, <laughs> this is that gunna boy. Let him in, let him in. Zaire won't listen. All these niggas dissing. Uh, <laughs> 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 Yo, so many niggas not fucking with him make this shit harder than me. Uh, no. I know every note. <laughs> nah, you know what's really funny to me? It's the niggas that's like, it almost looked like they going out their way to try to not fuck with it. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Not you. Oh, I'm so, there's yeah. niggas that I don't care. I'm not listening to that shit. That's true. Guess what? When it's, it's not out, when you outside. So what, what do you what, say to so the people that, that say if half of these allegations about Young Thug are true, then why, why would you listen to that and big that up if these niggas done shot at kids, injured kids... Shooting recklessly, innocent bystanders, people can't go home to their families, never see their sons again. That's fair. The minister society type thing, right? Well, I'm saying not the but movie, we gonna big, but I'm saying he is a minister. But we going to big that up. No, it's not bigging it up, but it's like if you listening to music, I feel like you relate to the realness in it. So like, prime example, like everybody know you in your music, in your lifetime have had some toxic relationships. So when you get Allegedly, on the track and say yeah. some wild no. shit about a relationship and it was like, oh, this nigga Joe really out there tripping like that, 
Nigga, that if people gonna feel that harder because they gonna know yeah. how you can it. So it's the same way. Like if thug, you know what I'm saying? He talking about could, had to wear the dress because he had a stick. Not knowing, not saying he actually had that, but it's like if he really moving like that, he really had the iron fist in Atlanta like that. that Everything hard, he right? said is just so much more stamped. Mm -hmm. And then it's like you listening to the gunner, and I mean, I really I thought he was the next one up to be honest. With you. I thought he was the best to be honest. With well, him, look, him and Dirk. But let me ask you a question about that. So in the relationship example, you're going through that, so you can kind of relate a little bit. It's like, oh yeah, that shit hard, right? You ain't a street nigga. You ain't got the stick on you, pause at all, anyway. Right. That's so. What that. does who, whether who got the stick and who don't got the stick? Not true. Right? It's still about the quality of music. Thug true. is an artist. We ain't gonna sit here and say like Thug ain't like, doesn't make iconic music. You make me like that. I don't want to like this shit. Stop, bro. What the gunner? A lot of you street niggas it is it on me. This stick. is a belch from the deep bottom of his <laughs> stomach, yo. Because niggas, look at all this shit they talk about. My nigga at home, man. <sighs> <laughs> nigga, all his friends won't text back. They won't call him. Every rapper on Instagram dissing him. Label won't support him. My girlfriend left. I'm in these streets like, ah. <laughs> Yo, Let me take it off music for a minute. We do this disservice to ourselves where we just got it got to be real. It got to be authentic. But I look at the real authentic part. Not from the consumer standpoint, but from the person that's actually doing the spitting. Pusha T, I like that drug shit, not because I was deep into the drug shit and was moving like that, but because I could tell he was. Mm -hmm. I could tell, you talk it like that, Jay. Y'all talk like that because y'all experienced in it. That's where I appreciate people's experience. Mm -hmm. But let's get off music for a minute. You watch New Jack City? Yeah. Loved it, right? Yeah, it's a great movie. Why? Because it was a great performance. It was a great movie. So you don't care that nigga ratted at the end? Oh, that uh, Nino told at the end? Don't I mean, care about it's that still, part. It still don't make it a great movie. I don't. But yeah, you I, watched I it, you could, and black people, classic, say it's a classic movie. But you don't hear people putting him up against the other great main television villains, like because when they said they be like, oh yeah, no, nah, he told at the end. You know what I'm saying? So like when they talking about the great, they be like, oh yeah, that's a great movie. Black he was people a great love character. that movie, that. No, they and do. they love the ending yeah. of it, and they love his portrayal of the character. Think about New Jack City. You seen uh, you seen uh, Goodfellas? Of course, one of the best, right? Yeah, that's one of the best. Black people told me that down. was one of the best. For sure. Henry Hill. Yeah, he told. Yeah. He but, told and then came out of jail to help them write the script for that. But this is what I'm trying to explain to you. I understand we didn't, people nobody tell all the time, but who's going around saying, I'm, oh, I'm, Henry Hill I'm Henry is the, Hill, is the I'm guy. The yeah, I'm Henry Hill. You don't hear no, oh, I'm Henry Hill. Or you yeah. don't, oh, I'm carrying it like how Henry Hill and them did. No, you like, damn, he was lit. He carried it. He was one of them, but he ain't carried it through all the way through, so I can't look up to or want to portray that persona because it don't measure all the way up. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he right or wrong for whatever he did. No, I mean, I'm, I'm not. No, I, don't I understand what you're saying. All I'm saying to that is... Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I feel that nigga. No, that, bread, that, bread and butter, that bread and butter hit, though. I, I, I'm like, damn, that's, that's, that's one of them. Dog. Yeah. He so, talking on there. Yeah, he is. No more. And then the, in the bread and butter record, I would... For those who care so much, answer them questions. My thing is, for I, those who care, Thug got to speak. That's all. I, that's all. It's not that fair. I just want to hear what Thug's side. Yo, of the I walk. Yeah, I've I, been going saying? in places, different uh, crowds of guys, and I don't even say nothing. They pray. Yo, you listen to the gunner, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. That's yeah. Oh, oh, Joe, <laughs> Joe, you. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I'm a musician. I'm listening to people that make good fucking music. Music is elite. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, I'm out of here, man. I'm done with y'all. Well, speaking, Let me of, see. speaking of real quick, speaking of hearing what Thug got to say, the countdown is tomorrow. I checked on my way here. So, the countdown? Yeah. So what happened? I th what Metro started was the first one, right? If I'm not mistaken. I don't know who is. I think it was Metro. Put a put a QC code up on his Instagram, and then Dirk. Right, like all other rappers just start putting this QC code up saying business is business. Business is business. But when you scan the QC code, it takes you to a website with a countdown. Yeah. And it's counting down. Like right now it says one day, eight hours, 27 minutes, 33 seconds. And this is supposedly New Young Thug. I don't know if it's an album. I don't know if it's the music. We don't know what it is. But everybody who's been kind of like anti-gunner are posting this. This have been posting this QC code for the last couple days. I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to take it further than this. He better deliver. Oh, he ain't shit. gonna miss. Thug ain't gonna miss. I, I doubt it. I doubt it, bro. I doubt it. He ain't gonna miss. Oh, you one of them. 
I wonder what. Oh, your family like real street. <laughs> this nigga, he, <laughs> this guy. I'm saying he, he's sitting there, bro. You, you know, first of all, rappers all. Get I've better never, when they go to jail. I've never. I, I'm, I'm not saying he ain't one of them. All rappers get better when they go to jail. They ain't got nothing to do but sit there and write. Not necessarily but, true. He don't have vibes cartel like studio in there. Like he about Sean, to give us some old songs like Sean, Tory did. Sean, Sean, no disrespect, Sean the homie. He came home and he. Sean knocked one out. People like that album. He did from jail. Huh? Sean Father buried alive. Yeah, yeah, people like that Sean album. Jail. I don't know. I don't. It better be a good mix people and like master. The Sean, wait, on people like the Sean album that he made in jail? Yeah, people like mm -hmm. that one. People yeah. like that Gucci stuff, too, but I wasn't a fan of the breakfast, really? lunch, and dinner yeah. and all that. I wasn't. No? Serious. But I'm not a big Gucci Serious. fan, but so let me out of there. You liked it? I didn't love it. It was a couple joints. He had a few joints on there. It was a couple joints. It ain't well, compared How long to he was locked up before he made that album? Because when Sean came home, he rapped. It sounded crazy. So he made a hot album in prison. It was okay. And it wasn't. And, 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 and listen, nobody was madder than me. I was at Def Jam. Them niggas was giving me bullshit budgets. That nigga Sean got millions for the jail album. I was about to commit a crime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what it is? Oh, that's what that, that nigga, he got what? <laughs> oh, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> that pain in his voice make it sound so good. <laughs> nigga, tell me back up in these streets. Tell these bitches, nigga. Tell me back up in. Ha! All right, man. <laughs> Yo, hopefully y'all enjoyed this podcast as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. My thoughts and prayers go out to the screwed up click, man. Again, rest in peace, Big Pope. Y'all hold it down out there, man. Everybody have a good week. Positive vibes only. New Joe Biden.